Now who the heck let it be December? Yeah. Snuck up. How'd they do that? Hey, everybody, we'll start in just a moment. I mean, I, 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 I blame November. What up with, uh, you know, yeah. having one fewer day than you expect? Yeah. They, they, they gave it, up, man. I was expecting more fight out of November, but they just folded and let it be December. Yeah. Weak. Sad. <laughs> <laughs> Impotent, yeah. puny. Are, are, they, are, you, are you December folded like a dog? <laughs> Said many such cases. The December to people forget. People are saying. Many people are saying that November was was bad for for allowing. It would still be November if Mike Pence has the courage to do the right thing. So weird that that Twitter folded. Remember, remember Twitter? It's gone now. Yeah, and nobody goes on the website anymore. No, nope. everybody's on. Nobody. Everybody. Hey, remember when when Twitter fired half their people and still had thousands of people, and then everybody was like, "This sucks. Let's go to the place with three employees." <laughs> And then the other place had to but, shut down because uh, there were too I, many I, people I, I and they had three employees. I think you're missing the real point, which is people didn't like sharing a platform with pedophiles, drug abusers, communists. So, you know, they went to, what's the other one? Mastodon. And and filled with... It's, it's decentralized, so everybody. Everybody. Yeah. Everybody. Okay. Everybody. Yeah, everybody. We're gonna start in a moment. Everybody. Oh. Everybody. Ever. Is it everybody? Everybody. Everybody. Macedon. Bryce, is my beard crooked? Oh. Is your fun. beard crooked? I'm just asking. Look. You. Look at your camera. Look directly at your. Ca- uh, maybe a couple inches up. Yeah, it's crooked. <laughs> Sorry. What did you expect? I was, it's a little higher I, on I, your I, right I, side. It, yeah, yeah, the it peppery. Strongly encouraged yeah. you not to have done that. <laughs> I, I, I oh want to know if my beard's crooked. Just a little, but you, you get some of the pe- get some of the salt and pepper stuff. Put in your beard. Trim, clear, clear it out. Maybe I. It's just the color. Maybe this is my new thing. I lean into it. Well, you're gonna have to lean on your right side I'm for that. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be crooked beard man. <laughs> crooked beard man. Hey, what's up? It's me, Paul, Justin Robert Young. Coming at you from a 22 degree angle today. It's like, yeah. It's like, uh, uh, maybe, yeah, maybe, you know it, maybe so, so, it makes so, me look more sympathetic. Some people only occasionally say, on the other hand, I'm all about the other hand. Yeah. <laughs> only one one side. I'm turning the other cheek because the other one is so high up in elevation. Yeah. <laughs> so, I swear, don't. <laughs> I'm sorry. It was it was uncomfortable. <laughs> 1.0. <laughs> I'm going to prostrate myself on this when we talk about um, the magic avatars in a bit. <laughs> we'll talk about that in the After Things program. Oh, yeah. Program. Did you get your magic Did avatars? Did you do magic avatars? No. You're going to you're gonna want to do it when we start talking about it. What, what are they? There's an app called Lenza. Oh, 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 oh. I, 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 saw, I saw a bunch of weird-ass versions of you. 
Yeah. Is that, is that what we're talking about? Yeah. yeah. Okay. And okay. Justin posted some last week. Yeah. In our in, in our Wordle chat. in our Wordle chat. Yeah. Uh, well, I, I I just thought you were flexing. Oh no no no! <laughs> I didn't no. know this was a phenomenon. This well, is a phenomenon. We'll, we'll go through it on after okay. things. Okay. Yeah. All right. What? <laughs> it's not appropriate for for daytime podcasting. Oh goodness! There's definitely a moment in which uh, uh, I didn't know uh, whether this was just a quirk of Brian Brushwood or a phenomenon on the internet when I shared my ranking in Marvel Snap, and he responded, "Oh, with with a picture of a vagina." <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. What? Why? I I, I don't know. I I figured you know. Celebrate. I bet he'd love to see one. Yeah. Like, like, I'm, ho- like, I'm hooking a homie what, up. What would I want to see? Here, uh, <laughs> let me send it to you. Just all sure. caps. It's, it's just all caps. Here's a picture of a, a P word. Oh. <laughs> there you go. Enjoy this. Let me see. I'm opening up my phone. Okay, there you go. My text messaging Send app location. To, there you go. <laughs> Yeah, I'm ex- I'm excited for iMessage to say, so "Hey, did that, you want to get this? Is that a phenomenon? Is that a thing that's happening on the internet?" Oh, what the fuck? A- after <laughs> after I did that for you, uh, the next good news Bonnie had, I sent her a similar picture. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, that. Well, you're gonna learn a lot from this picture. Woo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh. The anterior and anterior lo- lateral view. It's wow. a yeah for 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 folks who are painting. That, is that picture. what that looks like? Yeah. yeah. What? Yeah. yeah. No. Yeah, yeah. No. It's no. way longer than I thought it would be. Right. Yeah. Like 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 it's a little little. Uh, but it's little... like your tongue. Your tongue's longer than you think it is, just because most of it's on the inside. Yeah. So. <laughs> I'm gonna take our PG-13 tag off of on Twitch now because we don't <laughs> we don't have that anymore. Uh, hi everybody, we're doing some weird things. It's just the three of us, as as you can tell. <laughs> yeah, Andrew wouldn't deal with this. Andrew would not abide by talking about Marvel Snap for this long. You know what though? Uh, we could throw in some HOA talk. Some hoa. Oh yeah. Hoa. There's some hoa in this house. Is Jay Z getting upset? No, that's hova. Yeah, it's hova. Uh, do you think it's good show material, or do you just want to get it out now? No, 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 no. I, I, I'm, I'm just, I, I, I want to keep Andrew here in spirit. Ah, uh, I see. Oh yeah, because I would imagine he's, now... he's finding out all of the things he's not allowed, allowed to, do to do. Yeah, including have internet apparently. Yeah, yeah right. <laughs> what the hell? They're like, nope. No choice. No free choice. Uh, why can't Elon get those satellites up fast enough? Yeah, at least he has a lot more oh. space. Yeah, he will have a lot, a lot more space. Elon, sure, him and I'm Elon sure him and his him Andrew. and his wife Aunt Maine. He's he's probably just cartwheeling around his new house. He's got so much space. He's like, I know he's wanted to cartwheel for Andrew, a while. Andrew, our home is so spacious now. Who the f is that? Uh, isn't that Andrew's girlfriend? The old weird things bit. Oh, Class- yeah. that's a classic wow. weird things bit. Oh, Andrew's girlfriend. Wow, jeez. Wow. Wow. Yeah, Te- technically that's a Bonnie bit. But- yeah. Oh. Andrew. Well, she's not on the show. I want to do a cartwheel. Oh, my goodness. Uh, All right. You guys want to do some weird things? Yep. Yeah. All right. Recording over there. Oh, let me check one thing. Make sure we're all good. But I think we're all good. Hold on. Before we start. One more thing. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Of course, everybody, you can support us over on Patreon. Patreon. I swear to God, if I hear like a a, a buzz cut razor over there. Hang on. Just one. I liked it so much, I bought the company. (laughs) Comes back fully clean. (laughs) Shiny. So I can't shave my beard now, right? Just dye it. Just dye it so that it's You want me to dye my beard? People do it all the time. Men do it all the time. See, I think... This is no. These, I these think are he's crazy talks. Up, like a new idea, because be, because he's he's not talking about the coloration on his beard being uneven. Oh, he's talking about the shaving of the beard. With the sh- oh, see, I was looking at the color. Can you do you want to give us another look? Because maybe I, maybe I don't. The right side is a little taller, just a little bit, but you yeah. can fix it. That's an easy fix. This one just a, you just brought a, about. Just this a millimeter. This one you brought about. Just one millimeter this, on your right side. This is, this is the one that you brought about. You said it was uncomfortable, and then you started the third wave. I'm here for all of them. Okay. But now, I just want to say, now if I if I shave my beard, now it's going to be a thing where 
people will be like, oh, or maybe you shouldn't have said it. But like, like no, but maybe I want to shave my beard. I don't know. Okay, maybe, maybe, now I want to shave my beard. It looks good. Lean into it. Just, 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 uh, 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 it's a new look. The hot new look. It's called the Bell's Palsy, and your children may be doing. <laughs> no. No? Follicle Bell's Palsy. Jingle, just so that jing, know. jingle Bell's. <laughs> The reason for the season. Go Bell's Palsy. It's so stupid. Go <laughs> Bell's Palsy. All right, let's do some weird things. Why don't we? Let's get away from that. Yeah. <clears throat> In three, two. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the Weird Things Podcast. I'm Bryce Castillo, hosting uh, for Andrew Main again this week. I'm joined once again with Brian Brushwood. Hello. And Justin Robert Young. Well, hello. Hello, everybody. Uh, hello. Andrew's, Andrew's out moving. He's moving today. He's or, migrating northward. He's moving, mm-hmm. he's shaking, been, celebrating. He's been, Alberta. Uh, been uh, he said he said goodbye to Hollywood. Mm-hmm. Yep. As uh, Billy Joel once sang, uh, and he's uh, becoming a Bay Area boy, uh, moving on up to the East Bay. And those Cheddar Bay biscuits. Yeah. But uh, uh, meanwhile, somebody's got to flip these flapjacks. That's right. Uh, we're you. here. Spatula's out. Yeah. For Harambe. You know what spats, I saw? Okay. Spats out for Andy. This just just Andy's spats. really quick. Andy Spats. I saw a TikTok today from a grill cook at Waffle House. Okay. Yeah. Did you know that they do this? They track how much um, profit you make for Waffle House, and then they give you shirts based on it. Like this guy was like, "Oh yeah, I got my two million dollar shirt, and it's like a nice." black shirt and it's got like leak like shiny gold leaf on it and stuff i did not realize that there is was it, such a, a system behind waffle is that gross or net gross i think okay but he was but but he was up there he was he was really proud of it and it made me go like oh man next time i'm at waffle house i'm gonna keep an eye out for that because that that actually seems like a pretty big deal well what if we do that with views would, would, would you rock a shirt with with number of views yeah if it's at a like a special point if there's like a billion view mark or something yeah, we're not there yet but well, ha- where, how do you feel about a half bill you mean 500 million yeah i'd be yeah that. okay but that one's a crop top oh okay. yeah <laughs> it's halfway so half- you gotta you gotta you gotta you gotta have your beller button out <laughs> well thank you everybody for joining us i got a weird story for you you remember steve jobs is that yeah. right uh, steve jobs yep the yep. famous tech guru apple computers i believe mm-hmm. uh he invented three things and then got lazy and just decided them all it was one, one. Yeah. yeah, he's like, I don't. Yeah, geez. I'm just gonna make one thing now. I don't like it's, excuse. It's like, <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna make him one thing. So a few weeks back, uh, I, I guess there was some sort of a, a state auction or some sale um, from his California home where he founded uh, Apple, um, and they auctioned off a pair of his famous Birkenstock sandals. Uh, they were pre-worn. <laughs> they uh, went for a good amount of money. How much do you think? Steve Jobs, uh, oh geez, worn M- sandals. Versus, okay, okay, right? okay. Millions? Um, number one, it's an artifact from a human who transformed the planet. Number two, probably smells like his feet. <laughs> <laughs> so I feel like one <laughs> is a three x multiplier <laughs> to yeah. the other. <laughs> yeah, and also the audience, right? Like you're gonna get not only big money in tech. Yeah, mm. but also anybody like Steve Jobs, the the patron saint of of the like. See, this is why this culture. is why Steve Wozniak was the wiser of the two because he was always riding a Segway, and, and so yeah. Do you and think so his, his feet sandals smelled better or worse than Steve Jobs? They Great smelled question. elevated because he was on the Segway. Because he was like, like four like, inches like up, six inches. But he yeah. was. They were also vibrating. You're like as he's like right if anything he's things. standing on yeah. them more because he's standing the entire time on both feet can, can we take a moment to to contemplate the segue just just for a moment sure yeah when's the last time when's the last time that i was on a segue product uh that or just even saw one i've not seen that, one in a minute well, when's the last time somebody said the word segue to you <laughs> well i mean they really had not a, not in a connective tissue. No, 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 no. Between I'm, I'm, one point I'm and you. another. Yeah. No, no, no. Segway uh, is is one of the the big scooter companies that that uh, uh, that had the, the the scooter revolution, like the birds and the limes and everything. A lot of those are Segway scooters. So I have actually heard of the Segway brand more recently uh, than than what than one might think, but. But not uh, this, not the Segway product not, that we're not, thinking of. Not the, not the one that, that, yeah, that, that you. Um, wow, so that, that Segway we, really only just makes scooters now, huh? Yeah, they're a scooter company. Oh, 
They should get back to the the, 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 the the stupid little thing that we're talking about. Yeah, but nobody liked that. Yeah. <laughs> so they instead just said, oh, what we do know is motors did, and electric. Did Job kill the Segway? It was cer- certainly of its era. He was a very parodiable character. And oh, like I would, that I sounds would say, like a yes. Yeah. Joe, oh, gotcha. Joe Bluth. I yeah. Thought, yeah. Oh, I think it, you said it, Joe. It, it, I think it, you it, meant like Joe Biden. The biblical character. Oh. Yeah, Joe Biden. No, no, no. And, and don't turn around. And uh, I'm going to Bob was a bad You're scooter. Just right off on a Segway. Yeah. Mm hmm. Yeah. I, I, yeah. I, I feel like I haven't seen Segways yet. How, okay. So back to the sandals. I, I, what if I tell you this? The starting price was $60,000. Too low. Too low. Oh, yeah. No, I, I think it got over a million. I, I'm going to put it at 2.5 million. Justin's going to say $2.5 million. Just, you need to think of those people. Who's, who's trying to big... Where's Burks? Who's, who's trying to big spatula each other when, hey, when they're... Can, do you want to uh, see a picture of it? What, 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 uh, can, can you tell me like, like how long he wore these? Was this a year or is this... One that was in rotation. Uh, very good point. They are dating back to the mid seventies. Uh, this uh, auction did set a record for the highest price ever paid for a pair of sandals. Uh, quote: This is from the listing. The cork and jute footboard retains the imprint of Steve Jobs' feet, which had been shaped after years of use. And we've got a picture of them here. I don't know if they come with the Pelican case, but I'd like to believe that they do. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> It'd be funny if that's where so, they drew the line. <laughs> Pelican Gate's not included. Yeah, no, yeah, you, you spent whatever you spent on it, and then you got them thrown at you like you were George W. Bush. L- listen, we need to infiltrate a very particular tech company, and we need you to blend in perfectly. Here's your equipment. <laughs> All right, Justin says 2.5 milli. Brian, what do you think? Uh, oh, no. Uh, seven, seven hundo. Seven hundred thousand. Yeah. Okay. Brian's closer. Brian's closer well, by a good bit, right. but you're both 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 off quite by by a good bit. These were auctioned off for about two hundred eighteen thousand dollars. Says Julian's auctions. It seems like a bargain. Yeah. It does seem pretty low, but they're also used shoe. They're you like it, I feel like it would break a million if it was one of his turtlenecks. Because well, that's, that's but, more but, frameable. But, but, that's what yeah, seems. Yeah. A million that's of those though, right? How many Birkenstocks did he have? I'd imagine fewer than turtlenecks. Mm. <laughs> mm. I, I feel like he but puts it, on a new turtleneck <laughs> every day. He maybe doesn't put on a new pair of Birkenstocks <laughs> because once you get the groove in, yeah. you're, you're pretty happy with them. But I guess uh, th- those two things, I think, are not the same time period, though, right? He's wearing the turtlenecks, but he's wearing sneakers on stage. Well, no, that's this, on stage. On but, the stage, but, but this yeah. is, you know, like him... In the lab, mixing it up, <laughs> telling telling Johnny Where the magic Johnny Ive right? yeah. like like no 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 rounder less buttons, f- uh, more fire wire ports go. But I only want but I want buttons and ports. <laughs> no, <laughs> if you bring me one more button, I'll throw you off this airship. I'm inventing my own lore. Uh, so yeah, so this these sold for two hundred eighteen thousand seven hundred fifty dollars. For some reason, they included an NFT. Um, well, this, wait, this wait, sounds wait, wait, no, like no, 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 a ding wait. dong place. This this sounds like a fly by night clearinghouse. I don't like them. <laughs> but the NFT is is at least authentic. Like like, imagine it's instead of saying NFT, you said certificate of authentication, mm-hmm. right? Like like, I feel like there's a place for NFTs. Oh, I guess so. Oh, but I, I would I, assume I'm, I'm still bullish on digital collectibles. Like I I still do think that like beyond the. Uh, uh, hysteria of of what they were initially. The people are going to find reasons to kind of have NFTs matter, but uh, I don't know. I, I just like who did this? What 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 what? Thing? Um, Julian's auctions ran the auction. His uh, the the house um, was named a historic site in 2013. So, um, I, but I, there's not more information about who's why. getting money. Who's getting money for this? Is this? I have to assume it's a state, right? The state. His estate. Like he's got a oh. got like kids, yeah. yeah, yeah. You know the kids he ignored growing up. Well, no, but they he he made the up kids for he it in ignore. the movie. Yeah, no, no, no. He made up for it by naming a computer after a kid that he met once. Yeah, and then he turned her into a cartoon. Yeah, <laughs> he did. A little yellow girl. Uh huh. Big spiky hair. This is, I, 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 I don't like any of this. <laughs> Simpsons. Oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> uh, we got a few more stories here for you. Oh, thank we got a lot God. Of you guys have probably seen um, the chat GPT um, uh, uh, thing. Yes. Have you heard, you've heard the word? Hold on. Yes. Everybody, look to your left. Everybody, look to your left. Look to your left. Everybody, look to your right. Okay. Look to your right. Looking to my right. I'm not, I'm not okay. seeing glass. Okay. Uh, okay. Has anybody seen anybody who will in any way be negatively impacted if we speak plainly about GPT-4? N not GPT three. This is chatbot. This GPT is Chat three. GPT. Yeah. And okay. The, there, there are different. There, there. Chat GPT does encompass a couple of different things. This is a positive story about the program. Okay. There are other stories out there about Chat but GPT, and your, they will not be covered your here. Watch your CYA, Bryce Castillo. <laughs> They're not going to be covered here. GPT, Bryce Castillo. <laughs> so this is a new chatbot model from our friends over at OpenAI. One of the ways that it's being used, um, a, a a user. Galen uh, tried to put chat GPT to the test. So this is an upgraded, this is the newest chat model. Um, when, they, when they update these models, they get better at naturalistic language. You can ask it a simple question and it gets more and more, it has better understanding of what you probably mean. And uh, what Galen did was say, hey, you know, this, this thing's uh, part of, um, of Codex, you know, the, the coding assistant tool. So could it solve a, an AP computer science exam oh so uh galen input the questions to the ap computer science a exam uh that is the equivalent of a first year computer uh college a first year college computer science course in java how well do you think chat gpt did taking this ap test aces it's out of it's out of 36 points i think it got 31 yeah. points oh okay I'll, I'll take the over i think it did better than 31 all right uh, okay, out of 36 points, let's see here. I want to make sure I get the exact, uh, the exact right things here. So Galen gave it, uh, gave it all the questions. He has a, a whole methodology on GitHub about uh, uh, of what he used uh, to input and, and how, it, um, how, it, how it did. Uh, Galen then assessed the answers, and per, the, per College Board's own assessment, it got a 32 out of 36 points. One point. You did. You did. You did play the over. Yeah, uh, which is uh, pretty good. There's only a few mistakes uh, on there. Uh, uh, Galen goes into more about it, but uh, it, it's interesting because at this point, it's not just coding, uh, but it's also coding with purpose and coding to solve problems. Right. That yeah. the, the, this exam is. Hey, you're writing part of a code for a game. You're gonna have these variables and these things. You don't have to worry about how X, Y, and Z work, but solve this problem and it did pretty well um uh galen uh mentions that uh one of the sections was needlessly convoluted but it looks like it works fine um there were some parts where it just called the wrong thing um but there are only a few of those there and um there there are some parts that chat gpt didn't get from from the actual exam it didn't get some of the graphs and visual elements that you just can't pass along to the text only yeah version. But this is fascinating because uh, I think this is a pretty real world uh, uh, example of how how technically capable are these models, mm -hmm. um, you know, I and they are and they are only getting smarter. And, uh, uh, you know, I think what what GPT has has done here is, uh, uh, you know, figure out exactly how to train itself. So it is robust and fast and, and, and all that. And, and really the big question then becomes GPT-4, exactly how much further in, mm -hmm. in, in, it, in its advancement is it from three? Yeah. Um, I, I think it'll be f fascinating, especially in a situation like this where it's not make the entire, um, you know, uh, the entire code base, but yeah. solve this little... Solve these things, yeah. Yeah, I think that's that's fascinating and... Uh, I think there's a lot of good potential for for language models like for, this. For cheating on tests, yeah. <laughs> hey, Bryce, uh, yeah. You, you should check your email. Okay. Um, I'll uh, just because do, I'll because I, I, I just sent you a, a topic discussion. And this is just okay. to, just to let you know, Bryce, how much we appreciate you and your unique skills. All right. So I'm going right. to I'll, I'll read this uh, verbatim here. Rice Castillo. <clears throat> Rice Castillo didn't anyone didn't didn't no, even capitalize R. No, interesting. No, Brian just, I, I, Brian I just, just didn't copy everything correctly. Yeah, he he's he left that that capital B to the 
ash heap of history. Uh, Rice Castillo is introducing a Weird Things podcast topic to Brian Brushwood and Justin Robert Young. It continues, hey, Brian and Justin, I wanted to introduce a new topic for our Weird Things podcast, the phenomenon of phantom vibrations. It's a phenomenon that many people have experienced where they feel like their phone is vibrating in their pocket only to check and find out it's not actually vibrating at all. Some theories suggest it's a psychological response to being constantly connected to our phones, while others suggest that it could be a physical response to our brain's perception of external stimuli. What do you guys think? Do you have any personal experience with phantom vibrations? Let's discuss and explore this weird phenomenon on our next episode. Sincerely, Brian Brushwood. <laughs> so you know what? Uh, I, I guess we'll put a pin in it. The, I'm glad you brought that up. That'll be next I feel episode. like I sometimes... What was I, no, you were just introducing a topic, Bryce. <laughs> no, I... We're not. Were you not? Well, I was because uh... I because sometimes I have them, but I felt like I it's they're not... less. They're more when I was wearing longer pants. The more I wear shorts, I don't get them. Was that why are you being weird? Why why are you not talking? You set up this topic. I well, it certainly sounded like I did, but yeah. that was actually just me reading an email. Uh, what? Yeah. Uh, How was that email generated, Brian? Uh, well, I, Electricity, I just, I'm assuming. I just typed in Bryce Castillo is introducing a. a you know what? You to, want to, 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 to GPT. Wow, Bryce, all we would need is to run that through a Bryce voice synthesizer and we could totally <laughs> replace you. Uh, yeah, you know what? Here we go. Here's the letter to me. Hey, Brian and Justin, I have a great cut topic for our next Weird Things podcast. It's about the strange and mysterious phenomenon known as the hum. It's a low frequency noise that's been reported by some people around the world, and no one knows exactly where it is or where it comes from. Some people believe it's a natural occurrence, while others believe it might be connected to extraterrestrial activity or secret government experiments. What do you think? I think it would be a fascinating discussion, and I can't wait to hear your thoughts on it. Let me know if you're interested, and we can schedule a time to record the episode. Best, Bryce Castillo. Wow, that'd be professional. That sounds exactly if like only, how I write, huh? Yeah, if only Bryce would send us emails <laughs> so we could prepare for the topics. <laughs> Oh man, maybe this GPT. Hey, so how are better. you? Oh, no, he's just I wanted to yeah, propose no, a new yeah. topic as for our Weird as, Things uh, yeah. podcast: the paranormal and supernatural. We could discuss the history and legends surrounding ghosts, demons, and other paranormal entities, and mm -hmm. discuss some of the most famous cases and sightings. We could also talk to experts and investigators in the field. Yeah, I don't know, Bryce. This uh, uh, this uh, uh, wow. Yeah, we should do all of these things, huh? We yeah. should. Yeah. We should do all these things at once. All of them at the exact same time. So but, but, what? how did you generate those, Brian? Uh, what is the website you use to do that? I, I went to chat.openai.com okay. slash chat and just gave it a prompt. Very cool. Very cool. Yeah, that's uh, uh, they've kind of got that in a public beta at the moment. Um, uh, and then I'm assuming it'll be part of their paid playground and their API stuff soon. But it's that's, it's it's very cool. It's been very interesting seeing people test test the, the waters of... of more natural language. Yeah. Yeah. I got a question for you. That's not really a question. Um, uh, it's just an interesting thing. So uh, who, who does this? UNESCO. You know UNESCO. Uh, yes, yes, I do. Yeah. But, but Justin, for our listeners uh -huh. who don't, mm. yeah. maybe you could bring him up to speed. UNESCO is a... Cracker company. Is a cracker place, <laughs> emporium... But it was united. It was united from several different cracker warlords. Oh yeah, back in the eighties, and now they're united. Esco. That's right. But they, they if you want, if you, if you need a little snap on a cracker, boy, <laughs> are they the best. Make Oreos. Now I'm realizing that chatbot AI could probably just replace me. Like. <laughs> Our fourth rotating guest. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> Although I guess like Lorem Ipsum could replace just a bunch of garbage coming out of my mouth. So No, I don't know. What, 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 what is UNESCO? So the UNESCO is a part of the United Nations, the United Nations Educational, Scientific, and Cultural Organization. Uh, they, they, they're the ones who deal with world heritage sites and, and objects. Mm -hmm. And uh, um, let's see, when was this? Uh, last, last week or so in Morocco, you, UNESCO exp experts gathered and added a new uh, they added a new item to their list of intangible cultural heritage. Um, it's something from our friends in France. Would you guys like to take a few guesses at what you think just joined the intangible cultural heritage? So so to be clear, like there already was a list. This is a new entrant 
yes. to the list. Yes. In fact, I'm going to see if I can find previous um, uh, previous wine. examples. Uh, okay. Cheating on your spouse. Uh, and then being cool with it. A, a breast being no bigger than a champagne glass. <laughs> uh, Canapes. The, the River okay. Sen. Um, surrendering. Sur okay. Though, Paintings. That's uh, let's see here. Wikipedia has got some here. So they, th th these include oral traditions and expressions, performing arts, social practices, oh, rituals, oh, oh. <laughs> traditional craftsmanship, knowledge, and practices concerning the nature and universe. I'll tell you this. It's part of food heritage. The new Is it one. stinky cheese? Mm, not quite. Is it croissant? Uh, you're getting oh, warmer. Oh, uh, an infatuation with taking other words from other languages and adding le in front of it and acting like it's now a new word. Uh, no, it's okay. not, it's unfortunately not going to be that either. Uh, we were looking, uh, 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 they added the baguette. The baguette is now an intangible <laughs> cultural heritage item. Um, I did not realize this. Do you know kind of how the baguette, uh, came to be? Why it came to be? Oh, named for Arthur Baguette oh, in uh, 1705. He uh, hated bread that wasn't pointy. And what? he said, I'm going to harden this thing. Mm -hmm. I'm going to make it like a javelin mm -hmm. uh, because he loved, like a throwing, javelin. That's yeah, way sharper than... he loved throwing bread. Now, this is a thing that has, has eventually moderated, uh, uh, but, but yet his desire for bread that would be a perimsile <laughs> weapon a projectile weapon uh, lives on in the dreams of every French child. I think baguettes survived longer than regular bread because they had that hardened outside. And as a result, it was harder for like weevils to get inside. Mm. Mm -hmm. Also, uh, it's derived from the bag, which is very, very, very round fat bread. Uh, but that, but like the, it often could could uh, weigh up to five hundred pounds, and <laughs> oh so people goodness. were like, "We just don't want I need that a lighter one. We need something that I can carry around, uh, a, yeah. a baguette, maybe." Uh, uh, and and that's where it started. Uh, so this is from our friends at the Associated Press. Although it seems like the quintessential French product, the baguette is said to be invented by Vienna-born baker August Zang in 1839. Zang put into place France's steam oven, making it possible to produce bread with a brittle crust, a crust yet a fluffy interior. The product zenith didn't come until the 1920s because of a French law preventing bakers from working before 4 a.m. Oh, God. Oh. Because it is long and thin, it could be more, made more quicker than some of their other bread products. Um, and so it was the only bread that they could have ready Sorry. time for breakfast. The, the French needed to have a law saying that nobody was allowed to work before 4 a.m. Oh. Uh, preventing bakers, specifically. Yeah. Just bakers. Well, the bakers, were, they, were, they weren't getting any sleep. They were up so early. <laughs> a lot of those French this breads bread. take a long time to cook. Yeah. And so the so the government had to step in and so, say, like, they, like, of, 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 of all the jobs, the sleepy the baker, job, act. the mm -hmm. job where you do it better, the earlier you get up, they say, ha -ha, no, no. Yeah, that's what they said. In America, we we're like we had like the time to make the donuts guy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Illegal. They hate him. Illegal. Illegal. Yeah. Like, like, like they have it. They have a big no sign mm -hmm. on a flag. Do not be guy. making those donuts. There was one time that uh, uh, they were making uh, bread in France at 3.30 in the morning, and he was arrested and brought to jail. Yeah, that happened. <laughs> yeah, illegal. It's, it's like, like no, sir, yeah, no, sir no, do no. you know that this is illegal? And he said, I pry the dough from my hands. You, <laughs> your laws mean nothing to me. And then, he, and then he preheated his oven, and he got tackled and brought to the Bastille. <laughs> Um, I'm trying to see here that that, that that I mean, he dung Hamilton. That sounds like a show I would watch. Yeah, <laughs> the Who illegal was baker, a baker, maker. <laughs> but the government was the taker. Poor man, mustachio, yeah. <laughs> bacon in the morning. Um, some went to bed real early so we could get up early. <laughs> Some other intangible. I, now I'm just obsessed Breaking with the bread. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Some other intangible cultural heritage items include Frenchy early breaker man. <laughs> baker man. That's it. I'm sorry. 
Bryce, I want to apologize <laughs> to you. Uh, the capoeira circle from Brazil is considered this. The tradition of carpet making in Chiprovci. Are you are you Bulgaria? familiar with the capoeira circles of Brazil? Uh, I, I, I got high with them once. The capoeira circles? Oh, yeah. Actually, oh, yeah? it does seem like some stuff that you would want to do while high. Yeah. No, a little bit of ayahuasca. Yeah. You know? Are you familiar with, in all seriousness, are you familiar with capoeira? Uh, dance, dance fighting. I, I can keep on doing this bit. No, or... I'm at, no, I'm asking you seriously. <laughs> we don't have no, to do no, bits no, every. No. You are not. You are not. Yeah. <laughs> no. G- g- look up. Look up a capoeira circle. Uh, yeah, capoeira. That's the the kind of rhythmic dancing. It's sort like of dance fighting. fighting. Yeah. So you, Eddie you, Gordo you, from okay. Tekken. If exactly. You know. Yeah. You know where you're kind of spinning around a little bit and um, throwing throwing kicks. Yeah. It's pretty cool. Yeah, and you're listening to some music, and you're you're, huh. you're like kind of kicking, but you're mostly dancing, and you're doing some some cartwheels. And like that's a big like, lion wrestler guy comes up, and you only have sixty seconds in the round. That, that that's, that's like that's like what Andrew are, Maine's are, doing are, at his new house right now. Are, 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 are we calling it a dance dance revolution? Uh, certainly in Brazil, it was. It was yeah. certainly in it Brazil. was okay. Uh, so that's a little. They bit. overthrew <laughs> the world where they could only fight and not dance. Fight I mean, loose. Fight loose. Fight loose. <laughs> Oh, uh, here's one for you. I know this one will get. How about this one? Patreon.com slash weird things is where you need to go if you want to give us money for this. Uh, uh, Know that we love you. And uh, uh, sometimes, you know, when Andrew's gone and and I I woke up in Atlanta, Georgia, and and I was. uh, Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What was it? Yesterday? Mm -hmm. Well, no, no. This morning. Wait. This morning. This morning. 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 Today. But Atlanta's very far from me. I know. And I got on a plane and I came back and I was thinking, I don't know. Do we we take off of weird things? No, we're not going to take off of weird things. We're going to make sure that we do weird things for everybody who listens to this show. We love you. We, we, uh, especially during these, uh, these holiday episodes, man. Uh, um, be happy that we're here <laughs> because uh, <laughs> there's a lot of stuff going on. Uh, this is every podcast. This isn't just this podcast. Everybody is balancing more stuff, and so uh, uh, yeah. we, we love you guys. Thank you so much for everybody who supports us. Patreon.com/slash Weird Things. Thank you so much, everybody, for all of that. Yeah. Uh, we've uh, we've talked about these a little bit. In fact, last week uh, in in lieu of a show, we did a, a weird list of some other weird news topics, and we talked about. Um, I, I want to say it was the uh, uh, Cambridge's word of the year being gaslighting. It, 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 I don't know if yeah, you guys saw that. Yeah, not a thing. I don't, I, I don't know why everyone keeps acting like that. Yeah. It's not a thing. Yeah, that wasn't the word, actually. <laughs> uh, yeah, it was and Miriam. You're crazy if you think it was. <laughs> Miriam was. was just, actually, those, uh, uh, the, the term gaslighting comes from a movie called yeah. Gaslighting um, about a man who wanted to make his wife not believe you know her senses or her objective reality and so he would do stuff he would do some sort of contraption stuff in the basement of the house and it would cause all the gas lamp the gas lights to like fade and dim while he was working late in the lab one night yeah and so that's where we get gaslighting as a term from we wrote a song about it if i'm not mistaken. <laughs> well what he was seeing well, well, how did that song go brian yeah. rushwood yeah would you he like to sing it for in us? The lab late Leave one night. And what's the next line? Yeah. Or just jump to the chorus. What's yeah. the chorus what's of that the song? Chorus? What? What was I, the? I, yeah. I, 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 I think we could accompany you. Hey, hey, by the way, how was it received <laughs> specifically in his local area? Are there like twelve variations of the song you could go through yeah. for me? <laughs> I I withdraw my question. Okay. <laughs> this one, uh, Brian, you're actually gonna like this one. I think. This is uh, from our friends over at The Verge. Uh, Disney put out a video. That's not crazy. Video. No, they, they do, do that. that all the time. Kind of all the time. Uh, there's apparently Disney Research Labs, um, and they came up with a new uh, neural network um, called, uh, I, I want to say it's Fran, F-R-A-N or F-R-A-V, um, but a, a new model to de-age or re-age um uh human human actors in video um they they have a whole video here kind of showing off um how their how their process works a little bit and some of the examples um and comparing it to other um uh to other situation to other models like this and it seems pretty impressive it has a lot of uh fidelity it it doesn't one of the things that they identified was some of these other models are good at aging up a figure but not keeping their identity yeah so it looks like 
oh, that man looks like an older man, but that doesn't look like that same man. That just looks like uh, another old, another old, a man. separate old person. So, yeah. so is this for future film works, or it looks like all of this is being kind of rendered in real time? It's not real time, but I think that they said that the the model of their Fran. Uh, model takes about five seconds per frame so it's it's not real time but it's but it's pretty fast yeah um let's see if they i, I don't know if they this is like their disney research um arm so i'm sure all of this has tv and film well and, and i think also th th there's already been conversation around apparently in the new uh indiana jones movie mm -hmm. there's there's some significant flashbacks that they used a de-aged uh, Harrison Ford that looks like classic Indiana Jones and and they are apparently very proud of it and I think that they are trying to get ahead of the idea that like you know a lot of the de-aging was just bad in some of their like you know the Star Wars movies and 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 stuff like that that you know it was it was even not as good as off the rack stuff which is why they got better in Mandalorian season two and I think now they're like no 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 we're gonna really put a lot of like like if this is a way that we can make our nostalgia uh, uh cash in movies uh, uh easier less, less make funnable yeah. than uh than then they're going to put time and effort and that this looks like the the science side of that is is there um so so it's slightly creepy that this exists um but it makes me immediately want to project forward in, into the future mm. like um Take a classic movie, let's say Casablanca or whatever, uh, yeah. and you have enough data in the movie Casablanca that you could map any human's face and any human's voice yeah. into all of the roles, and you could have it be color, and you could set it in space or whatever yeah. uh, algorithmically. algorithmically. Now, now, right now, that would take a, an extraordinary amount of effort, but... Mm -hmm. Uh, pre pretty soon it won't. Um, 2024 like coming from Brushwood Studios, Sp Casablanca Sp 2. Sp yeah. Casablanca. Yeah. I mean, I mean, I mean, we 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 could recast like, uh, okay, what do you need? Four principal characters, uh, uh, uh and uh, mm -hmm. uh, legend and hero ICU yeah. has already kind of been doing this for us. Yeah. But but it's like, uh, how 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 do we feel about that? Like, how how well, much would you pay? Or would you prefer it not exist or what? Well, I mean, for me, it would be about the movie. I, I The tech, I don't know if that really moves me in this situation. Yeah. Um, like, I don't know that I want to see Casablanca 1.5 and it's in space and it stars all of us. Well, I don't know if that's... But, but uh, I, I would like to see, and, and in fact, might commission, let's, let's say it was $900, right? So we do a, a little Kickstarter for $900. We're able to get somebody to kind of midwife this whole thing. And it's Casablanca, only it's a zombie Im invasion. It takes place here at uh, HQ for plot reasons that are written by a computer. Mm -hmm. We're all pretty safe, but we can't leave. And it takes the entire back catalog of night attack, uh, great night uh, and, and uh, NSFW. And it figures uh -huh. out the type of conversations that we'll have while we're talking about how we can't leave. Yeah. I mean, I mean that, well, I mean, that's that a ship at like a blast. It sounds like a completely different movie though. Then why is it, why is it, why is it Casablanca to begin with? If you're going to change every part of it. Uh, what, uh, Casablanca, as I understand it, uh, as a piece of art, is is a unique time and place and fusion of of famous people, but but also um, interesting things like uh, uh, like like there's mm -hmm. uh, lighting effects that that make it look like somebody's behind bars and all that stuff. Like right. I don't know. But like I, I I would dig all of that. Uh, I mean, I think it would be interesting to see, but I don't think I I don't. I don't, it's it's the ship of Theseus problem for me. Is like, I, is that Casablanca? Does that make Casablanca better? I, or I assure you, Warner Brothers will think it's Casablanca, and we'll receive a like if we were to do it immediately, it'll uh -huh. be a cease and desist, right? Maybe, but you, you, though you have described changing so much of it that uh, I I wonder what they would even go after. I mean, if you're changing the movie, if you're changing the music, the people, the background, and even the plot. Or the script, 
Well, then, let, let's take somebody more litigious. Let, let's take um, uh, the four of us here uh, on mm -hmm. weird things and make us the Beatles, right? And then just, just take all of the Beatles stuff, map our faces, uh, tweak, tweak our voices. So we sing on key, but, but it's very distinctly a Brian voice, a Bryce voice, a Justin voice, and so on. Um, mm -hmm. do, you, do you find value in that? I mean, that would be an interesting thing to do. I mean, I would, I would love to see it, but, but yeah, because the, the this stuff is mostly going to be used in, 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 in textual um, cinematic production. It's going to be for your Indiana Jones, where they need to have a scene where Harrison Ford is younger, or, or in Blade Runner three, where they want to have Sean Young's face in it again well, or something. But I, 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 I guess uh, if if we're going to be all the way direct, um, yeah, I, I think I would love to uh, take, uh, so, so uh, the first five years of scam school, right? Mm -hmm. uh, let's, let's say, you know, it's spoiler alert. It's kind of in limbo who owns what on any of that. Uh, mm -hmm. But I know that the, the tricks and, and my personality are not owned. Um, I don't know. I would kind of love to just reenact those and then have me de-aged and take me back to those moments. That would be well, but you're already younger in those. Do you want to look even younger in those? No, no, no. I, 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 I want to own the rights to them. Well, <laughs> I don't know if that's a if that's a square peg or a square a square hammer. I'd like to just have the entire line of this show, but we're all infants. De-age us to the point of of being like sentient Weird things, babies. babies. Yeah, <laughs> but it's all just yeah, and we're saying the exact same them. thing. Yeah, exactly. Maybe pitch our voice up a little bit. Godwins. I feel like it'd be adorable. I think so. Yeah. I don't know. You want to try this? Make me a baby. <laughs> That's the the crowd. The crowd cried to science. <laughs> Make me a baby now. Make me a baby now. What well, or or. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Or or ex extraordinarily old. Yeah, like old things. yeah, old or, things. Or or or, or take a take. <laughs> what clearly, you know, you know, we we've shot this in our various bedrooms at various times. Like like, just take the faces and the conversations, remove all of the ands and ums, punch up the uh, dialogue, use our voices. Go ahead and create an AI set. That that looks like Dateline or mm -hmm. whatever, and and then just upscale all of that. I mean, I'd be I'd be I'd be down for that. Upcycle it, upcycled podcasts. Be interesting. It would be even more work than the show already is. I mean, I mean not for a robot. <laughs> yeah, these robots don't have feelings. Well, uh -oh. no, they don't have feelings. No, but they do also... what they do what we tell them, and they'll do it forever. <laughs> okay. Uh, Sorry, well, I was doing a little foreshadowing. Oh, <laughs> for the robot revolution. Oh, okay. Yeah, I want to be the bad guy. Uh, we were talking earlier about uh, gaslighting. That's what we were talking about. Gaslighting. No, we weren't. <laughs> it's the word, it's the word <laughs> it's of the year thing. for uh, for 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 Cambridge. Well, uh, uh, why this year? Why this year? Yeah, why? I, I don't feel like people have been talking about gaslighting more than they have been in the past. I disagree. You think this was the year of gaslighting? Uh, yeah, uh, certainly people of, of people saying it. Really, I think so. I I feel like it's I, been in vogue like for three, three years ago. I felt like yeah, it was, was hottest. Uh oh, Brian. But now it's this in, is. I feel like this is your. This is one of your favorite moves. Moment of truth. Yeah. Google trend it. Oh my God! My oh, friend out. Here we go. This is okay. it. Google trends. Yeah. Trends.google.com. Uh, I got it. Okay. So that we can share yeah, with the people here. Go. Gas lighting. We're here at our friends at Google. Let's see what we got. I'm glad I suggested that. Yeah. Uh, see what I did? <laughs> we're getting to the past. Uh, we'll go 2004 to present for gas lighting. Uh, it starts to really pick up in 2016. There's a big spike. When is this? January 2017. And that, then. That would have been right around the time I first heard of the concept. And even then, it was like in a. Uh, freaking out your roommate into thinking your house is haunted kind of way. Yeah. But, mm -hmm. but, but yeah. Uh, I guess it is more, it's more. In many, way, in many ways, <laughs> gaslighting never, never left. So it is more popular than ever 
yeah. now, although it has it has kind of uh, gone. They're, they're expecting it to be even higher this December. Well, uh, Oxford may- at these prices, <laughs> Oxford picked their. Well, this is one of their word of the year. This this was like a vote word of the year sort of thing that they do. Um, the follow the the runner up words that they had people voting on were metaverse and yeah. hashtag I stand with, which I don't think is a word. I I think I think I think metaverse would have been a a, a decent thing because that was something that that everybody started saying uh, in in a way that they would like pretend that they actually knew it or they had said it any time in the previous, you know, however long they've been alive. I don't know how I feel though, because metaverse, the word was coined by Neil Stevenson in snow crash back yep. in 1992, I think. And so you think it shouldn't be added. I mean, we had, we had, or, or the word of the year. Yeah. I, I, I don't know. Facebook renaming the themselves meta is is i think the reason i mean that, that that is the cultural cachet for which happened this year in fact oxford oxford goes it goes into this until late 2021 there was relatively little sustained usage of metaverse outside of specialist contexts by october 2022 it had increased almost fourfold from the previous year in the oxford corpus uh some the corpus oh yeah i don't know maybe that's what is they that what book. Uh, they call it dolphin yeah they're, <laughs> that's right Baby uh, corpus. <laughs> uh, and yeah, third place was hashtag I stand with, which I don't No, I that's I, three I, I, words. I'm, w- I'm with you. No, that's not a word. You don't get to do that. Also, I kind of feel like that was like 2020. Is OMG a word? Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah, Oxford. Um well we got questions. OMG for would you. be an abbreviation. Yeah. You yeah, do define abbreviations. But it means something different because yeah. one involves a, 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 a touch of blasphemy, whereas the other one you could reinterpret as, oh, my goodness, or what have you. That's my favorite gift website, a touch of blasphemy. (laughs) A touch of blasphemy. (laughs) It's like, it's chess, but one of them is Judas. Uh, some other yeah, that, that's where I got my Charlie Hebdo <laughs> chess set. <laughs> some other previous words in this. Blasphemy. Hold on. There's more here. <laughs> Please. Okay. Nope. There's not. <laughs> uh, uh, Double check. Nope. Oh, he's gonna, uh, are you still trying? A win a singo. It's it's babbly boo ding. What are we doing? We're just speaking gibberish now. So the winner for Oxford, Oxford's uh, word of the year was goblin mode. Wait, what? <laughs> that wasn't a meme? I thought I thought that was a meme. No. <laughs> word of the year? It's their, it's their winning word of the year. Goblin mode, a slang term often used in expressions in goblin mode or to go goblin mode, is, quote, a type of behavior which is unapolog- unapologetically self-indulgent, lazy, slovenly, or greedy, typically in a way that rejects social norms or expectations. Goblin mode. Uh, Big. I'm way into this. I, I'm way into this. Big ups, Oxford. Okay. Uh, um, do you consider, how often do you go goblin mode? Bryce, I'm in my I'm in my villain era, and I'm going goblin mode a lot. <laughs> the past four or five years, I've been going goblin mode a lot. You are you are in your villain arc. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> where where are you in in in, 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 in the villain I've arc? I've been reading the tweets. I think I could tell exactly. <laughs> yeah. Uh, he's not a number one. He's not a number two. He's at number three in goblin mode. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. Well, I don't know. I think I'm on I'm on the upswing from the villain arc, but I'm still in it. I'm still going goblin mode. Do you guys? Uh, so, Justin, you've heard of Go- Brian? Have you heard of Goblin Mode? Uh, yeah, so sometimes my kids will say something, and I'll be all like, "That's funny that you would make that up." Um, mm. But 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 it looks like like Goblin Mode's time has passed. No, this is this year. So this yeah. was like, like why it had the the big moment. Yeah. Although March, for whatever reason. I remember hearing the phrase goblin mode uh in relationship to oh who was who's the chick that dated uh Kanye was when before Stacey, before he was uh, in his Julia Fox? Julia Fox. I remember yes. it being associated with her and and an uncut jam. Yeah, apparently it went viral in February March because uh from insider a doctored headline claiming that she went quote goblin mode was cited by a bunch of different outlets. And it was uh, a fake tweet. 
Did, didn't we on this program get off the goblin train because goblins pretty much were uh, whoever is not of your tribe, usually a rapist? Sure. We found, yeah, especially with the uh, 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 African goblin stories, they're, they're I it think tended we, to we, be. We, we, we found that societally some of the awful, ugly things that happen in, in any society were sublimated into the form of stories of, of, of goblins uh, uh, in, in these situations. Right. And that often what was initially like, oh, who stole the blah, blah, blah. It's like, oh, no, this is just a horrifying story. Yeah. Um, but this is a separate type of goblin. Yeah. This is the goblin Brian, mode. would you, would Some you, of us you are say, so, so uh, uh, Bryce here, uh, explain like what, what going goblin mode would be for you. Sure. Like goblin mode for me would be uh, on a Wednesday night, instead of going out to trivia, I text, I, I hit the, I hit the, I hit up the group chat and I said, GC. Hey, I'm, I'm going goblin mode tonight. Yeah. I'm heating up some pizza rolls. I'm getting under my blanket. I'm watching I'm watching some soapy show. Yeah. Um, I'm goblin moding. Sorry. I'm giving up my normal obligations to really have a, have some me time. Yeah. And I'm not I'm not gonna dress up. I'm what not is, pretty. What is the up. difference between goblin mode and self care? Because self yeah, self I, self, I, self I, care. I was about to say like like wouldn't goblin mode convey uh, like you're doing something bad to other people? Like it could be like I'm not going to trivia. I'm going to rob my neighbor's house. I'm going full goblin mode. <laughs> well, that's just a crime. But, but yes, but I, I assume self care. Because what you're describing sounds like self care. Well, it, self care you would probably maybe eat a little better or try to take care of yourself. Where there's more indulgence in goblin. Goblin mode is more like a cheat day. It's the new cheat day for people who aren't on a diet. I feel like we just keep inventing new words for doing what you want to do. <laughs> Right? Like I feel like like there's like a like, lot like, like, like w wasn't that called cocooning at one point like like oh, sure. I'm just gonna cuddle up and just be in a cocoon yeah but, but yeah. now it's like I'm going full goblin mode or, I'm cocooning and also looking I'm at gonna porn. binge and cocoon yeah. and self care yeah. and heal auto heal or whatever I don't know we just keep inventing new things for like. I don't want to go but, hang out. But, but, but you yes, say but, you don't want to go hang no, out. No, but, but, but we don't also need like, to do like, these like, dances. Part it's not a dance. Part of the you definition are. of being a goblin is mistreating other humans, right? Where it's like what? you're cocooning. What? You're taking care of yourself. If you're self-caring, that's you taking care of you. Goblins are uh -huh. causing trouble for other beings. Don't say you're going goblin mode if you're not trying to kill Spider-Man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm something of a... Goblin myself. I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm something of a goblin motor myself. <laughs> it's it's there's there. There's, Thank God that movie came out uh, 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 without time for uh, 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 Willem Dafoe to just scream. I'm going goblin mode. <laughs> that would be great. Actually, uh, one of actually, the actually, I, I will pay twenty dollars <laughs> right now if that's a service that, that Willem Dafoe. Can you just scream? I'm going goblin mode into your cell phone. By the I was way, talking to your friend. Um, <clears throat> Uh, Brian, and he was saying that you're working on politics. Um, I recommend you go full goblin mode. I'm something of a politician myself. <laughs> it's me, Willem Dafoe. Willem Dafoe. Even the uh, the NPR story had a picture of someone in cosplay as the Green Goblin. Yep. <laughs> I think I think that there are shade. There are enough shades between what goblin mode yeah, represents like what, as an idea. Moss? Uh, living. <laughs> oh wait, uh, no, you're the uh, the other moss. Gotcha. No, but living moss can also be part of goblin mode. Sometimes. Yeah, just as Kate. Like, like, and how many shades of green are there? A lot. Forest. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Keep going. Tourmaline, olive, pine, Tur turquoise, jade, emerald. Okay, all right. Somebody's going full goblin mode. I'm going goblin mode on these colors. Uh, uh. So yeah, I don't know. I don't like this one. You don't like goblin mode. And I just again, it's it's it. Mm. It feels like there's just a lot. We're we're in a very expectant society, or 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 a theatrically expectant society that uh, we have to come up with new rules for or new new terms. We have to we have to glamorize the idea of like I don't want to leave the house. Like I want to eat pizza rolls. Like that's just, it's fine. You're allowed to do it yeah. if if, if you I'm, are Yeah, but but doesn't it sound cooler where it's like 
I'm going full Thor Odinson. Yeah, right. I mean, yeah. the, the, we want to we want to make it sound cooler. Like, and and I don't know if and that's... people shouldn't be allowed to be fake cool. Is that what you're saying? Uh, it's cool, but it's fake cool. So no, no one you can do should it. wear it as a badge of shame. Like why? <laughs> like, like we we are we are we are perverting the natural laws and order of society. If you want to just be a big fat pile of trash, then say I'm a dumpster. <laughs> Boo! I stink. Like don't be like like I'm, <laughs> I'm secretly <laughs> super about, cool. Don't. Why was there a foghorn? Because <laughs> I, I in my in my head I it was it's a barge, the goblin horn. It was a floating barge. Okay, all right. All yeah. Right. Uh, uh, I probably shouldn't have explained that. Don't worry. It'll be clearer in the movie. Uh, but yeah, yeah, I, I, they stop making it cool. You're not doing a cool thing. It's cool to be like, you, you, it's fine to be self-indulgent, but if you feel bad about it, don't make a cutesy name. Just say, I'm depressed and I want to eat pizza. But that's not, but I can't put that in the group chat. I can't say, oh yeah, I'm having, I'm having a depression day on my Sunday. No, I'm like, I'm just going goblin mode for a little bit. I'm just being a Why? little creature no, and I'm no, just toiling. You, 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 but, but, I'm just but, toiling for 24 hours. This. You're denying like, yourself the ability to say that, that you are, that you're depressed. You should be allowed to say <laughs> Yeah. Also, it's, it's, it's not very accurate because like goblins go out and harm other beings. You know who never hurt anybody? Brendan Fraser. Uh, I don't know what pop culture reference I'm supposed to friggin' make from that. <laughs> Just say you're going Brendan Fraser. Yeah, you're gonna take time for yourself. I I also think that it's a bad that it's a bad application of it. Uh, if I if I really? were to think of what I would say going goblin mode is, I would say somebody who's like just lost it. Like like oh my god, I was hanging out with Doug. I didn't realize he was getting that drunk. Next thing you know, full goblin mode. He's kicked out of the bar. He left his phone in the toilet, like mm -hmm. like just an absolute mess of a human. That I would say that is goblin mode. Like all of a sudden, you look over and and your friend is no longer there. They've been replaced by a goblin version of themselves, and they are going going crazy. That's what I would think goblin mode would be. I, I wouldn't think that. I mean, this is, you know, a, a, you know. Again, it's it's just it's it's you know, something in between. I'm I'm depressed and self indulgent, and I want to not talk to other people. Uh, here's the real awful part. Um, how many people who have ever used the phrase goblin mode are thinking of anything other than the Harry Potter universe when they say goblin? Everybody, like uh, Harry Potter's got elves, not. Do, do they have goblins in Harry Potter? Yeah. Uh, aren't, aren't those aren't they the ones runs that the, run the bank? The, yeah. Yeah. Ugh, oh, know. yeah. I saw I saw you stumble and not want to say it out loud. Well, because. Uh, yeah, because there's the implication. But that's not the only use of. <laughs> that's. I don't. See, you did this. You didn't know, the Oxford didn't do this. Brighton Brushwood did this. The kind of conversation. Look, I don't. I, <laughs> I don't know if Kanye's read the Harry Potter books <laughs> or seen the movies, but if he has it, don't show him. <laughs> don't show him. We These don't need any more what, problems. This is what the national yeah. public. Well, yeah, yeah, no, 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 no. Let's not. <laughs> goblins run Gringotts. Like NPR says, it's mindlessly binge watching television without worrying about the time. It's eating snacks in bed without a care about leftover crumbs. It's wearing the same pair of pajamas all week while working from home. Welcome to goblin mode. Okay, uh, you know what? A uh, bad bad word because it's not descriptive and it has nothing to do with goblins. What? I think they're besmirching the reputation of good goblins. Good goblins get out there and they raid, uh, along with kobolds, they raid level one adventurers. I mean, that's a fact. Look it up, Oxford. Well, no, you look it up and look it's going it to be up, this. This Oxford. is the definition now. Nope. They, they got it wrong. <laughs> and, and they need to admit it. They sound like you're really goblin-pilled right now. Within the next five minutes. Uh <laughs> Yeah, I don't. I think it's stupid. <laughs> it's dumb. It's a dumb thing. Why would you? Why would you call it goblin mode? I'm going goblin mode. I mean, it, it, it I can't do anything. We're going goblin okay. mode. Yeah, here's Slovenly or sloth like or something like that. Like something that because very... I don't want to call that about myself. I don't want to say, oh, I'm being a huge piece of crap today. Like I want. I just want to let everyone know real quick. I'm being goblin mode. What I'll if we just replaced it with my barge sound? 
<laughs> yeah, you just it's hard it, to type. Exactly. Yeah, <laughs> instead of you saying goblin mode, you just sent a, a dot wave of a of a, is, a bard. Is, is is goblin mode going to ruin canonical goblins? Oh, how could it? How would it? Yeah, because what would you think of because like goblins a, are out there working hard to steal your gold? Yeah, I'm not. Mm. What? It's literally what a goblin does. They work very hard. Goblins uh, have an archetype, and I don't think that when we think of goblins, we think of s sweatpants and pizza stains. <laughs> and, that's and, that, and, that's my problem. It's like it's, I, 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 I not just, everyone not everyone thinks the word goblin and goes, ah, oh, yes, my D and D monster manual. Yeah, so that's exactly the only definition of a goblin. What I, other I, definition is there? It's a magical. It's a mythical creature. Oh, but I, it I, can I, only I, be that definition. Wait, 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 wait. What Name other a competitor who hasn't corrupted the phrase goblin mode? What do you mean, competitor? This is the word. You uh, f work against this. Oxford this stinks. is here. Oxford oh my gosh. Stinks. Get out of here, Oxford. We don't Stink. need you anymore. All right. Those are the world story. has passed you by, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> out of here. No. I'm more, I'm more into mode. the uh, Webster's rhyming dictionary. The Cockney slang dictionary? No, no, oh, no, no. Just rhyming. Oh, just rhyming? Just because? Yeah. Goblin, coblin. Yeah. What other ones? Moblin, <laughs> uh huh. Uh, Amblin, Amblin, yeah. Steven Spielberg, Ramblin, yeah. Uh, Romblin, Romblin, Got any picks? <laughs> Time for some picks, everybody. Uh, anybody do anything cool lately? Um, we watch anything cool lately? Man, I'm behind on stuff. I went to a, a, a professional football game. Yeah. I went to uh, the NFL's presentation of the Pittsburgh Steelers versus the Atlanta Falcons. Oh, I went to the Mercedes-Benz Stadium. Actually, this, is, this is kind of an interesting thing. Uh, this is what I would. This is my recommendation. Uh, uh, let me see if I can find the actual the Atlanta Falcons podcast. Please uh, uh, buy them up. It was an NPR right, uh, Bryce, podcast. Are, are, are you old enough to know the reference? If I were to say, "I can't wait to see," and then covered my mouth and said. The Atlanta Falcons. Would, would, would you know what I'm referencing? Um, it's some TV show. I can't, I don't know it immediately. Uh, what show yeah. is it? Uh, 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 the Simpsons. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, uh, all right. So this is a Planet Money episode. Huh. Uh, episode 874, the Hot Dog Hail Mary. It is all about the Mercedes-Benz Stadium, which is uh, replaced the Georgia Dome, where the, the Falcons play. They have a, a MLS team. But they made the decision to not base their stadium pricing for concessions on other stadiums, hmm. but rather the downtown area that they exist in. So, like, pretty much throughout our entire lives, we have seen unchecked inflation on in-stadium concessions. $15 for a beer, $17 for a beer that's the same size Thirty dollars for the beer with a squirt of nacho sauce in. Basically, it. Uh -huh. yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. uh, and and that has kind of continued unabated because the way, as this episode explains, the way that these contracts work is the companies come to the teams or, or whoever owns the stadium, and they say, "We will write you a check for X billions of dollars, and then we will make our money back selling things." And the stadiums are like, "Cool." We'll never think of this again and just enjoy these billions of dollars. Meanwhile, the companies that write these gigantic checks have to make their money back. And so they base the, the, the popcorn and the beer and the soda on what everyone else is doing. And that's like, that means like the high end. So mm -hmm. Staples Center in LA, Madison Square Garden in New York City, whatever that is, it's going to be in the stadium that, that you are in. And what, the the Mercedes Benz, the people who owned uh, that stadium, decided was that they would actually sell more if it was lower price concessions. And you know, having been there over the weekend, I will say that it is <laughs> it is a charming throwback to like the the aughts. So it was like, oh, it's only twelve dollars for a premium beer. Mm. Hooray! <laughs> As opposed to like uh, uh, going there and, and having it be twenty five or or thirty dollars, which I have seen. If you want like a a craft beer 
thing. I've I've seen prices that high. So it was it was good. It, it was it was interesting to to see like most of the food around, you know, the 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 low double digits as opposed to like a twenty five dollar hot dog or or something like that. Yeah, that's but, pretty cool. Yeah, that's, so that's there an we go. interesting. Yeah, there you go. That's the Planet Money eight seven four. We'll have the link in the show notes. Mm-hmm. Do they let you run a tab, or do you have to pay as you go at the stadium? Yeah, yeah. You're just that's that's you're just pay as you go. Yeah. You just buy your stuff and then walk back to your How seat. How far off until we're doing do, those uh, Disney bracelets where it's just like, boop, 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 boop. You want to know what? I think that that, that might have been a solution in a world where contactless payment hadn't become so widespread. Because I think the people yeah. that would want to do that, you can do that now on your phone. And almost all major places like that, they all have contactless. And a so, lot of the cards do that too. Like yeah. my cards have a tapper on, have a, a tap thing, but it's just a lot of, not. Only a few places have that, but more places are getting the tap now. And I like the tap. It's quicker. It's quicker than swiping or inserting or anything. I don't know. I'm pro tap. Tap it up. I'm tapping in goblin mode. You son of a... <laughs> You're not doing anything in goblin mode. You're just sitting around. I'm tapping. I just... I would like goblin mode better. I would like it better if you were doing more exciting stuff, but you're not. It should be just sloth mode. You're going goblin mode on this conversation, honestly. It should be, it should be sleepy man mode. <laughs> he's, he's sleep something that's a little bit more. Once, so yeah. we'll point that out. Uh, Brian, do you have a pick? Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, let me make sure I'm doing this right. But okay. um, uh, I, I, uh, I got one if you need a minute. Uh, go for it. Okay. Uh, I, I don't exactly remember who recommended this, um, but I ended up turning this on over the weekend and really enjoyed it more than I thought I would. I don't like historical period stuff just in general um but i really really dug uh 1899 on netflix okay 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 how, how, how far did you go i am uh two or three episodes in okay so it gets better uh that is a did you think it was bad I I I felt like it hit an uncanny valley. Okay, what is How far this you, show? So this is a this is a mystery puzzle box type of show. It starts off on a on a on a cruise ship in 1899. Um, a bunch of passengers from a bunch of different nationalities, all speaking different languages, are on this transatlantic uh, trip, and they receive a signal from another ship that they believe was lost four months ago. So, okay. so, so uh, roughly uh, uh, an analog of, you know, the, the Olympia and the Titanic, you know, the Titanic went down, the Olympia went to go rescue them. Mm-hmm. Uh, only in this case, the ship that went down has not been heard of for four months. A uh, lo- lot of weird stuff like, uh, like, well, we started receiving a signal. It's like, okay, is there any indication that this is from the ship? They do uh, have. They do give their reasons. Uh, I only watched the first episode, so so okay. there may be a lot of unfolding that happens. There, there's like in that specific example, they're like, our company is the only one that uses these transponders, and it's and these transponders only work at certain distances that would match up with these cord. It's it, they do have an explanation for some of that stuff. Okay, um, I I dig it after after um, two or three episodes. Um, I. I don't know what they're trying to do with it is, is weird. Like the, I think it's because like the opening graphics and stuff are very cool. It's like this very like intricate CG sort of thing, kind of inceptiony, just yeah. a lot of CG models floating around and they're all kind of collapsing in different ways. Um, and it feels very high tech, but then it takes place in 1899 where it's very low tech, but then does it? Because then there's also some other stuff that I, it's, it, it is. It's, and, and, it's a mystery. And, and I think it's an interesting one so far. There, there's also some like flashes that indicate that uh, is this all in her mind? Or, or it's like the, the, the opening character. Very first thing she does is look in the mirror and say, I'm not crazy. Mm-hmm. So, you know, as a result, we that, assume that ev- there is some unreliable is narrator. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So, yeah I'm, I'm confused immediately <laughs> because it's 1899, yeah. right? Yeah. What are they doing in a talkie? <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. That's, Fair enough. You know what? Yeah. We'll, we'll ask it to uh, them. But, uh, but uh, I'm, uh, I'm enjoying it so far. I'd say give it a try. Give it a couple of episodes. It's on Netflix. And I, I'll, I'll keep going. I'll keep going. It's, um, it is weird. Like, there's enough stuff that I look at about it and go, how much of this is like, 
how much of this is the the idea of the mystery versus how much of this is like Netflix's ability to be very cross demo. You know, I think it's very strange. Just they're they haven't really addressed why like everyone speaks different languages, vis- audibly different German and and Taiwanese and French and and Danish, um, but they all pretty much understand each other anyway. I hope it ends in a World Cup. Oh, that would be fun. World Cup, nineteen eighty nine. They just no yeah. eighteen ninety nine. Yeah, they just at the end like <laughs> no. Whoa. They teleport to nineteen eighty nine. We'll I, settle I love this that even more. <laughs> we'll settle this the only way we know how. Kick a kick. World Cup. <laughs> Uh, so, 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 um, I, I, I'm, I'm on the fence on, uh, 1899. I'll, I'll continue to watch it. Uh, I'm also on the fence because I'm being pulled in two different directions. There was a, a, a new trailer for the last of us, uh, created by the Emmy award winning creator of Chernobyl, of Craig mm-hmm. Mazin a show that yep. I like very, very much yeah. based on a video game that I loved beyond yep. words, played it twice. Um, and however, I am aware of the reputation that, mm, give or take, 100% of all video games have of being like, that was a great video game. Probably should have stayed a great video yeah. game. Mm-hmm. Uh, I am terrified that it won't be good, but it might be. It I, certainly has. I'm, I'm here for it. It has every opportunity to be good, it's right? Got, uh, it, 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 Pedro Pascal. In it, it. It, was, it was a priority for... HBO, it has, uh, 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 you know, uh, two standouts from Game of Thrones uh, with Pedro Pascal and the the chick who was the mean. Uh, Ella Ramsey? Yeah. Oh, oh. Uh, she was she was like the mean child, uh, child ruler, like the, the, oh, the yeah. little girl who was yes. always mean to everybody. Um, mm-hmm. So, yeah, like it, it's got a, a, a built in audience that, that should be ready to see it. Uh, and yet I can understand. Where you're like, oh man, well, are you are, and, are you are you gonna know why this story is good and can this story be replicated? How much do you need to stray from the video game to make it a good television show? And and this is also the part that I should probably remind myself that that even if it's just god awful terrible, that takes nothing away from the original experience. Um, a lot of people. You know, whether it was like uh, so many people were predisposed to dislike uh, Cowboy Bebop before it even came out, you know, Mm -hmm. Uh, or uh, same with uh, The Dark Tower. It's like, oh, you can't possibly tell that they already did it. It's already perfect as is Um, like, yes, but that in no way means we shouldn't hope that yet another cool version of it would would happen you know like yeah. uh, like uh, for example take take uh, uh justin and my's current love affair with andor you know it's like it, it's it's just a straight up spy movie in the vein of battlestar galactica happens to be set in star wars it's unique and original and i love it for all the reasons that everyone else should um uh-huh. and and if they can get anywhere near that i i hope they do yeah uh so how i mean uh what uh, is this just because this is an adaptation that that's got your haunches up or was it uh, something in that yeah, trailer yeah. you didn't like? Uh, not only is it an adaptation of a video game, but also historically speaking, uh, what would it be fair to say that 90% of video games turned into movies or TV shows are not good. Yeah. Like, like yes, it's, it's but, a very poor batting average, but all of them are, are, are generally movies. I would say. Yeah, where this being a TV series, um, is I feel like that that's the problem with a lot of these movie things is like they just have to be cut down to be ninety minutes or two hours, and they're these long stories that are longer than that. Yeah, uh, uh, and and uh, in the chat they're saying Arcane. Yes, one hundred percent. I I thought Arcane was quite good, but that's not a that's I uh, I mean that's from the League of Legends like universe. That's from I the guess. people who made yeah, but it's like that game doesn't have a story. That's that's the brochure that you want. They walk in with like, right. Um, oh, I will say this. Yeah. My uh, talking to my brother who uh, was, we, we were watching the game yesterday. Uh, his son, my, my nephew, six years old is dialed in to super Mario brothers. The, 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 the feature film oh, oh, yeah. coming out. Yeah. Uh, very much into it. And I was like, Oh, you know, like oh, there's all the controversy. And he's like, what? And I'm like, oh, that they used Chris Pratt as the voice and they didn't use, you know, like, just did not get it. 
Right. Like, so I, I would, having talked to him and realizing, oh, no, kids love Mario. Kids want to see the Mario man on the big screen. Yeah. I, 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 have, I have a feeling it's going to do gigantic box office and all of the angry nerds online, uh, whether they like it or not, uh, is not going to matter one lick. I mean, it's one of those things where it's like, uh, there have been a few moments in my life that things were better than I ever, ever dared hope they would be, you know, the first Iron Man, uh, seeing Dr. Strange brought to life on the big screen. Um, and yes, these are movies, but, but even in television, you know, arcane, I, I, I don't even, I, I played League of Legends once, but it was like, wow, uh, that way overperformed. Sure. Um, so I'm I'm hoping that'll be the case for this one as well. I I guess in terms of comp comparable projects, I am not aware of a television series that adapts that is adapting a video game's entire actual story versus Arcane, which sets it in the universe, versus the Super Mario Brothers movie, which is kind of going to be its own thing. Ma- like maybe- this is telling the story of that, uh, resuming that game, at one for one, which I. Th- would hope is better in a TV space versus a movie space. The the closest I can think of, and it's not a video game, but it would be um, uh, uh, The Walking Dead, like, uh, mm. especially in the early days, you know, when yeah. I was still watching it. Yeah. <laughs> well, but also The Walking Dead is, you know, the, the only real, like, premise that it has is where the zombie story that doesn't end. Right. Like that was like Robert Kirkman's idea is, well, what happens after the credits roll? Right. So like, it's brilliant in more, that more tedium and backstabbing. Yeah. We and always, society. we, we yeah. always find a warehouse and we always think that this is going to be the warehouse and then the zombies get in and that's that. Right. Yeah. Uh, and, and obviously that, that comic book told all sorts of really cool stories what, that and, the show told them kind of crappier, but, but still like people loved, the tension, they love the horror, and that's why I mean, it's still going, right? Isn't it? I, no, I think that, I they're, think they're just about to wrap up. Yeah. Yeah. I, no, I, I feel something like about, I like, just... The last episodes. Yeah. yeah. Uh, let's see here. The Walking Dead this year. It looks like this year is the final year. Yeah. Uh, in the meantime, uh, mm-hmm. uh, part of the confusion in the mix is the fact that I deeply, deeply loved Chernobyl and... and uh, and, and have come to really deeply appreciate uh, Pedro Pascal. Like, I want to go back and see everything he's ever done. He's he's so talented. Yeah, um, and I think there are a lot of there there are a lot of good signs on this, right? You have Pedro Pascal, who's like a big a big name, capital A actor. Um, you've got HBO. HBO doesn't like do this necessarily. This is not an HBO Max thing. This is an HBO thing. Um, eh, I'm, Wouldn't I'm be optimistic. shocked if it gets doesn't get renewed. Really? Not, not not for any reason for its quality. I mean, it might. They made be, four it, seasons of Westworld. You think that they're they're gonna? I I don't know if you've noticed, but uh, Warner Brothers is under new management these days, and uh, uh, mm-hmm. uh, uh, they are they are tidying up their books either to get sold or to do a thing where they do three prestige HBO dramas, and the rest is Chip and Joanna Gaines making a lamp, like for eleven cents that they can shoot at all times, and that's that's going to be their output. So. This is because it is a big thing. I think anything that's not DC or uh, uh, you know Game of Thrones universe or whatever, like it, it's either going to perform and it's going to do big numbers, and they're going to say, "Great, another piece of intellectual property that we can mine uh, uh, forever," or it'll be like, "Well, took a scratch off lottery ticket, spent a bunch of money." That was what that was what the old crew. New crew says we're only adapting Arknoid. <laughs> oh, Arknoid. goodness. That'll be pretty cheap. Yeah. Get me Arknoid! <laughs> <laughs> From my trailer. Uh, did you have a, 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 so that's kind of a tentative pick for you, Brian, the last of us. Uh, yeah, it's, it's what's occupied my brain. That is not a repeat of something I've talked about elsewhere. There we go. Yeah. They had that trailer just come out. So, uh, uh, check it out. The last of us. Yep. Alrighty, guys. Well, that's going to do it for the Weird Things podcast. Uh, everybody keeping it weird? We're staying weird? Uh, yeah, I'm undecided. Uh, well, I can tell you it's been weird. <laughs> <laughs> I like the question mark at the end. <laughs> Pew. <laughs> All 
great. Uh, I got I got a, a little thing we can do for maybe a little 20, 30 minute yeah, yeah. things Let's if you it. need a break. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Then, uh, Sorry. Yeah. Go take a break. Go. Ready? We're going to uh, get some music here while we hang out for a minute. Get me Arkanoid. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. Hello, everybody. I, yeah. Uh, you know, we had a couple of snake stories in the hopper. Yeah. Uh, but they were all a little too sad. Oh. Yeah. It was sad. There's sad some, snakes. Some sad snake ones. Well, one of them was sad, and then one of them was just graphic. And we kind of couldn't fit in. But we got everything in. I was, we I was did. glad we, we got a got a full-length show. Maybe I'll put these in the, on the weird list. Send them to the patrons. I'm going snake mode. <laughs> Idiot three cases. <laughs> I can't believe you're such a you're such a hater for I'm a hater. goblin mode. I'm a I'm a low bottom hater on on goblin mode. You're a high key hater. I'm a high key hater. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I just a I I feel like the whole point of abandoning all social norms and and just wrapping yourself in your own uh uh, uh self pity and and reheated uh, uh food and yeah. watching whatever you want like I feel like it needs it needs to kind of bear the mark of, of of some of that shame in a way that goblin mode kind of makes a little bit too too funny for my taste wow i like depressing things though that's the other thing is like i i i don't want to run from depressing things i i i don't want to do the fisher price you know uh big oh. color popped version oh. of something depressing i want to i want it to be haunted and have cobwebs <laughs> and like the spectrum a, that you're painting just tells an entire an entire fbi profile could be made yeah no just stuff i mean i'm one. a i'm a actual crazy person i mean like that's <laughs> like i'm not gonna say anything other than than yeah no i i, I genuinely like uh, steering into the skid on the <laughs> darker corners of our brain uh so yeah. i just think it's like no did say like i'm i'm a I'm a big fat slap of crap <laughs> no. right now. I want to. I like. I'm. I. I guess. I I'm, guess. I'm, I'm detaching from the social contract, <laughs> and I'm dangerously <laughs> flirting with with floating off into space uh, uh, on on a on a on a stream of pizza rolls. I guess. I guess there is a certain. You should worry about me. That's <laughs> that's what I said. I would call goblin mode. You should worry. It should be called no. warning signs. No. Warning signs. So active warning signs <laughs> for friends and family and society in general. That's what goblin mode should be. You can't call it like, oh, the silly Ferenki dink yes. times. No, uh-uh. I think worry about me. <laughs> Worry about me right now. Worry about me. My, my 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 tenuous grip to society is loosening. You know there is. I think there is a certain amount of it where it's like, I don't I don't want people to be worried about that. I want to just say like, hey, I'm doing. Which me is today. the most worrying thing of all. <laughs> No, it means you want to hide. Because it's not that bad. You're allowed to be indulgent without being yes. in a depressive hole. No, well, but that's part of it. It's no, often it's part not. of it. <laughs> but it doesn't no, have to no, be. No, 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 no. It no. doesn't have to be. But this is our entire thing. This is why I like I, the, the fact that we keep renaming things. We keep coming up with 50 different names yeah. for I, I, society is stressing me out. I need some time to myself, right? And we call it self care and we call it. <laughs> The yo know, stop gas society's gaslighting me whatever like there's all these these things that uh -huh. are basically all boiled down to the same thing that that we feel pressured to do things either by our friends or family or society in general mm -hmm. and we want permission to not do it and I'm all on board with that. It doesn't sound like that. I am no uh -huh. no I'm just saying call it what it is you don't need to. But, uh, are if, you if, on about goblins? Yeah. He he pressed me. <laughs> I say that we should rename it "Worry About Me." No warning signs it's, that that that, that see, my, 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 my 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 grasp on our social contract, <sighs> my my fingers are are loosening. You're working backwards, though. I feel like you're like I'm I'm coming from a place where it's not from the depressive hole. It's just I kind of have an ugly day today. It doesn't mean you worry about me. It means don't worry about me. I'm just goblining a little bit. I'm handling what? it. I'm goblining. A little bit. I guess I guess I'm just confused. Like like, what's the goblin aspect of it? Like like like, why little, not, just why? a little guy. Just when you're like a little guy. 
I mean, I mean, uh, 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 shouldn't shouldn't you be like a like a like a like a brown bear? You know, like, hey man, I'm just gonna I'm gonna hibernate for a bit. I'm a brown bear. No, because they want to make it cool. And so goblin is a fun so thing. Brown, brown and a bear's bear already a, cool. a thing. Yeah. So brown bear is not cool. Being no, a bear's you got as cool brown as a goblin. No, because goblin is is fantasy. It's like it's like it's got it's fantastical. I, I'm I'm fantastical. You know, you're, you're a brown bear. No, brown bear. No, you're just a bear. Everyone's seen a bear. Mm. Like that cocaine bear. Yep. Oh my gosh, cocaine bear. Uh, I got a, I got a, uh, oh yeah, we're going to talk about the magic avatars. And yeah. I, I, Yo, I, do you want me to send you mine? I got mine. I have a bunch of mine I guess here. I, I, Discord. I, uh, uh, Lens AI. Should, should I do it? Just start right now. Uh, it's yeah. going to, the thing is, it's going to take. If you actually do the whole thing, it's gonna take like fifteen to twenty minutes for it to do it. Should, should I start it now? Uh, if you'd like, I mean, uh, yeah, I, I guess so. We can. Bryce, where, where should I send, send these to? Uh, to my email, uh, please, my hey.com email. Um, so to let you know, Brian, you're gonna to need to give it ten to twenty photos of yourself. Okay. Uh, I'll just do a Google search. But they need to be selfies without anybody else in it. Yeah, there shouldn't be anybody else in it. You kind of have, you want to give it multiple angles. I've found, I think, that you want to give it some offside angles or some profile. You want to include ones where you're smiling, because then otherwise yours will look like mine, where you don't smile. Okay. But uh, uh, did, it's does, also. Does it matter if I have a mullet? Is it is it fine. Bryce or Brykus? Brykus. Uh, it will also probably ask you for money yes. to do that. Um, my recommendation is to turn on the seven-day trial before it before you begin that process. Okay, so it's an app? Yeah, it's an app called Lenza. It's like on the top of the app chart right now. Um, and uh, yeah, we can talk about our experiences doing it. And then I I, I ended up having a uh, an interesting conversation about uh, AI art and... Uh, what it'll do for artists and if it'll put people out. Um, and so I think there's an interesting- Did you get- A little bit there. Did I, oh, I don't get email notifications, so I'm going to check. I did not see- I think, uh, I forget who I was talking to, but uh, uh, the whole AI art ecosystem reminds me an awful lot of when I try to explain how awesome MP3s were to somebody who was accustomed to selling CDs. Okay, remember that analogy, because that's exactly what we're going to talk about when we okay. talk about stuff. Of course, you can uh, support us in all of this. You can help subsidize our magic avatars, patreon.com slash weird things. We're doing this for you. 50 bucks a year, huh? Uh, yeah, don't do that. Just do the trial. Oh, I have to unsubscribe from my trial. Good, good reminder. <laughs> good reminder, because... I'm sure I'll remember. I, go. I just paid straight out. Well, yeah. I did too, but if you turn on the trial, it's cheaper to pay. Like, they give you like a 50% off discount, which is kind of messed up. Because then, oh, don't even get, uh, I'll get, I'll get in on that about their, their. I have reached to the oh, age of majority. What? <laughs> that's, that's the thing I had to check. Oh, yes. <laughs> I have reached to the age of majority. I have reached 18 slash 21, the age of ma majority. There we go. Thirty-six dollars a year, Jiminy. Uh, bum, bum, bum. Oh, oh, I guess I should pull up like uh, lens. Uh, an app. Wow, I've apparently been trying to send you things for months. Yeah, and they have not sent, That's and right. I do only realize now that it's because I didn't have my Gmail. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, these are great. Oh, okay. You got, you got good ones, too. Yeah. Da, 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 da. No other faces, huh? Here's me with the mullet. Another angle with the mullet. Yours came out good, Justin. Yeah. Yours came out way better than mine, I feel like. 
with a beard. I think, yeah, what, what uh, Ashley and I determined was that uh, it helps that I have the beard because it uh, doesn't have to do a chin oh, or yeah. a jawline in the same way. And then I have very swoopy, doopy hair. Mm -hmm. And so it, it, it does well when it has kind of, it, when it can be, especially when it's stylized, when it can be kind of like majestic Blowing. and swoopy doopy. Yeah, totally. Yeah, mine, a few of mine tried to give me a beard. Um, they looked all right, but I can't grow a beard like that. They yeah. gave me a beard I can't do. They gave, me a, they gave me a beard I can't do. Alrighty, buddy, just another few moments here while we get set up. It is it is much, it is very important that we do this before we start recording because it takes yeah. a long time. It takes a minute. Okay. You're going to have plenty of time to talk about this, Brian, while you're waiting for it. Cool. <laughs> mm. save, save to album. Coming up a little later today, we got Chord Killers uh, at uh, 6 Central. That'll be fun. We're going to talk about... White Lotus and Rick and Morty in 2521 on Spoiler in Time. Make sure you check that out. Um, that's coming up in a few hours. Uh, and don't forget, tomorrow we're going to have an, a morning great night. We're going to have a great day. Yep. Uh, noon Eastern Time. Please make sure you join us then. Goodness. Uh, you know, we were talking about the chat GPT thing, and uh, uh, Megan Megan Maroney retweeted this the other day, but uh, there is an interesting one. Uh, someone asked OpenAI to write a letter to their son explaining that Santa isn't real. Um, and it's like... <laughs> How did that go? It's like really... It's like kind of beautiful. Dear Emil, this is... This is uh, <laughs> signed by Santa Claus. I hope this letter finds you well. I'm writing to let you know that I'm not a real person, yeah. but a character that your parents have told you stories about out of love. As you grow older and become more curious about the world around you, you may start to question the existence of Santa Claus and other magical beings. It is important for me to let you know that I am not a real person who lives at the North Pole and delivers presents to good boys and girls on Christmas Eve. Your parents have told you stories about me um, into your childhood. They wanted you to believe in the spirit of giving and the magic of the holiday season. It goes on a little bit, but it's uh, it's kind of, it's kind of sweet, it's kind of pretty. Oh. Uh, <laughs> the other Super Mario, that Super Mario thing, uh, was very funny. Um, <laughs> people were getting mad that in the trailer, Princess Peach is like, kind of empowered. It's kind yeah. of a girl boss. Yeah. <laughs> and so, uh, so it's like they're, guy who's only seen the mad first that she's empowered. Well, because they think. Like, oh, Mario's going to be a bumbling... Pre preachy. A bumbling idiot. Yeah. Um, and so someone quote tweeted it and said, Guy who's only seen the first 20 minutes of Kung Fu Panda. They show him as bumbling and pathetic. <laughs> <laughs> it's Mario. He's going to save the day. Yeah. He's going to save the dang day. Da -da -da, da -da -da -da. Okay. So no, no other faces. Uh, yes. Correct. T today I learned I take very few photos... With with no other faces. Yeah, yeah. I think if you've got the prompt, you can search for um, selfies, and it'll show you selfie camera stuff. If that helps you. I usually I'm so I'm vain, and not a lot of people take photos of me. So a lot of my favorites are just good selfies that I like. Mm. So it was relatively easy for me to. I think I'm just outing myself on how insecure I am. Okay. Does anybody do that? Just favorite okay. they're good I'm, selfies i'm a male well not since i uh uh apple started sorting out the selfies now i can just type selfie and i just find a bunch of selfies mm. so i don't need to although i do have some selfies that are hearted okay uh how, how many avatars do i want to buy um whatever the the cheapest one is <laughs> i think it's five times ten or five times ten times five whatever it is yeah, I did the I did the ten times ten, thinking that I would get a bunch of different categories, but it just gave me twice of the same categories, which is fine. I got some good ones. Okay, well, we'll see. I'm, 
I don't think I picked the best photos. <laughs> I think, you know what? I bet it'll probably be pretty good. Okay. All right. Um, Repeating time, 40 minutes. <laughs> yeah, it takes a minute. Okay. It takes a little while. Right. And then it takes a little while to download, too. So, uh, all righty. 20 minutes. Yeah, it'll, it'll be good. All right. Justin, you feeling it? Let's go. Brian, you feeling it? Ready. Okay. Here we go. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the After Things podcast. I'm Bryce Castillo. Joined, as always, with one Justin Robert Young. Hello. And Brian Brushwood. Uh, I'm out of my depth here. <laughs> this is the show all about being creative professionals and generally online people online. How's it going, guys? Oh, uh, man. Good, been... good. What, what did I just submit my face like, like to, to a random app? Yeah. I have no idea what it is. Yeah. I assume it can be used to like uh, create a mask that will open up all phones. Yep. That's right. Uh, no, we, uh, uh, Justin and I, over the past week, ended up doing this magic avatar thing you may have seen around on social media. This is from an app called Lenza. Um, this is from the people who make the Prisma app, if you remember that, where you take a photo and it does machine learning to apply filters on it. Yeah. So this is their new thing. What, what, wasn't that a scam too? No, fa uh, it was, a, there was another, there was face app. That was like kind of the, the, the dodgy Russian one. Prisma okay. is supposedly okay. Straight up. Straight uh, up, fine. But yeah, but basically what they do is they uh, use machine learning to make your photos better. Uh, and so whether it be enhancing it, it's kind of like taking filters to the next level. But this one will use specifically the information from your uh, a photo. But here they are actively just saying, we want to be your new avatar. One of the things that you know people wrestle with is, is how to represent themselves. And so... If you enter in anywhere between five and 20 or 10 and 20 10. selfies mm -hmm. with nobody else in them, then they will generate, depending on how much you, you, you pay them, pay them yeah. uh, a bunch of pictures. 50 so, or like it's, it's, I think I got 200. Oh, you bet you, you got the big one. I went, yeah, I, I paid him the five one. bucks. I mean, it's, it's a business did, expense. Wait, okay. you got, uh, you got 200 for five bucks. Yeah. I paid $12 for a hundred. See, I needed to do the trial. Okay, no, this is all. No, I know. didn't do the trial. Uh, oh, interesting. Maybe yeah. it's because it got popular. Well, I do know that they fire. are, they, they, they do, uh, much like the, that one lane on the highway that you have to pay for, uh, they do variable pricing. So it's yeah. like what, what it costs. They are market pricing what, what it uh, uh, is costing them to run these cycles. and so, so you give it 10 to 20 photos of yourself and it runs them similar to like open AI or mid journey. It runs those photos through um, a, a, like 10 categories of types of image. Um, and it gives, after a minute, it batch processes them and sends you the photos. Would you like to see a few of them, Brian? Uh, yeah. I mean, I, I've got 22 minutes to kill while we wait to see what mine will look like. Um, so th these are some of, some of mine. Um, I, this is from the stylish uh, uh, bucket. That one looks great. It looks good. Yeah. So, so uh, for the audio listeners, yeah. if, if you were to, let, let's say, open or, or Dolly knew who Bryce Castillo was, and I just typed um, uh, Bryce Castillo digital art, then this is what I would expect. Yeah, you, you might get something like this. This is from the stylish one. So it adds a lot of colors, um, some, some bright colors, some distinctive um, brush strokes. That one looks like you're in a Wes Anderson movie. I, see, uh, I was uh, thinking uh, this one makes me look like Kid Cudi. I'm, like I I'm, be I'm Kid inviting Cudi. Bonnie in here. Uh, uh, Bonnie. Uh, uh, have you heard about this? Uh, uh, what's it called again? Magic avatars from Lenza AI. So oh, yeah. she says yes. Okay. So, so uh, would you like to see some lenses of, of Bryce? Oh. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so yeah, we got, we got this one here and this one here. Uh, and, and so it, it takes, oh, this is from the mythical uh, category. That one doesn't look like you at all. It doesn't really. Cause that I don't one, have that hair. That one looks like Chris Pratt. It does kind of look Chris Pratty. Which, by the way, I do think that, <laughs> okay, and that looks on. like Adam Driver. <laughs> I look, right, that's why I added the text that said, Mom says it's my turn on the desktop. Uh, I, I do believe that they trained their model on uh, celebrity faces. Because mm. that is something that I've seen a lot of our, yeah. Oh, Bonnie's going to go. Bonnie's okay, gonna go. Thumbs before up, you go, down? Bonnie. Uh, 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 oh, I think they're fabulous. I think they're they fabulous. Your true self. They reveal your true self, she says. Mm. All right. <laughs> do, do you think they'll they'll fix the asymmetry on Justin's beard? Oh, okay. <laughs> that didn't. Sign that's not in the bitch. podcast. That's Sign outside of the podcast. Bitch. I got a lopsided beard. Okay. Uh, it's the talk of the town. 
It's the talk. It's, everybody in Austin. About it. I drive. I'm driving that. by. They're honking at me on the streets. <laughs> They're the, saying, oh, floppy beard. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Too much beard stuff. Here's some of Justin's. Justin, uh, do you want to talk us maybe through sure. uh, how you felt about the – how did you feel about the images that you got back while we kind of – I thought they, they were really good. Um, you know, they, 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 were, they were representative of uh, uh, the kind of oh things. Oh, my God. Yeah, that one uh, – uh, it has a uh, – aside from the necklace that's disappearing into my neck – yeah. Uh, uh, this one has. Uh, That's a, definitely you're in a gladiator movie. Yeah. On that one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It, it has uh, me looking uh, uh, at least from the the clavicles up, pretty jacked. Um, this is like that, you that, as like a rogue that, that squadron. That you look guy. like you're trying to get everybody down the line in a certain space prison in Andor. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now these were in. There, there, there were some that were very twinky. Yeah. yeah. And this one, uh, so this was this is Justin, and it looks like he's got like a one shoulders sort of. Uh, I'd say you kind of a drag queeny look. It looks a bit of a drag queeny look. It looks like Rufio from Hook was non-binary. I mean, I, I, I definitely have the impression that this is the first frame in a YouTube video in which you're going to explain why I'm wrong about something. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Is this from the Rockstar category? This was from the Rockstar category, which a lot of people pointed out looks a lot like Wayne Coyne from the Flaming Lips, uh, mm. which is funny because I uh, went to a Flaming Lips concert when I was in college and I got a picture with Wayne Coyne and people thought that uh, uh, when I had it up in my dorm that that was my dad. <laughs> really? Yeah, so I do have a... a uh, uh, I can see it. Yeah, I, I do have a resemblance to Wayne Coyne, which my brother pointed out that uh, uh, it's I, I do have more pictures with Wayne Coyne <laughs> than I do my father <laughs> throughout my college years. So I mean, Wayne Coyne is the the leader in the clubhouse. Maybe they're one and the same. Yeah. Um. So I the, these are cool. This is kind of a neat thing. We kind of uh, I got into a conversation with someone earlier today about about all of these image generation things, right? Dolly, Lenza, uh, Mid Journey, what have you. Mm -hmm. um, and the idea that these technologies may or may not, um, say, put artists out of, out of work. Um, how, how do we feel in general about what a image generation may do to the creative landscape I, I i do not think that ai will put people out of work any more than computers put people out of work what i do think is that much in the same way uh the person for whom never wanted to touch a keyboard uh or a mouse found themselves behind the eight ball in the uh, professional expectations mm. we will see proficiency in ai using ai to do your job become something that you just need to be good at uh, and I think people who are early adopters will, similar to the rise of the personal computer, have a competitive advantage uh, because they're just going to be able to do more stuff than than others will. I, I think that there are some low hanging fruit for which AI will just kind of wipe out certain uh, uh, industries. I think it'll be a price a price and market correction. But for stuff like art, I, I think it'll just be a very valuable tool uh, on, on how to visualize stuff, how to uh, get, get the sense of stuff. Um, but at the same time, I don't think that it necessarily is impressive. It, it weirdly makes the, the line on art, uh, it, it brings it up a little bit because when you know that you can just generate basic art by asking a computer to do something, mm. then I think it makes... The, the concept of really cool art uh, uh, good. Uh, would, would it be fair to say that another interpretation of the same sentiment is it forces the artist to up their game and have a story to tell? Like there, there was a time that if you could create an act accurate portrayal of a marble figure that resembled, you know, Caesar, whoever, then congrats, you're an artist mm -hmm. who won the game. But now, but 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 in our lifetime, that's sort of, especially since you can literally click 3D print. Yeah, it's like you've got to have more to bring to that. You know, whether it's your Maplethorpe bringing incredible photography, but also uh, unabashed, you know, genitals being on display or what have you. Mm. I I feel like, um, uh, similar to to what you said 
earlier, Justin, like I think of these as tools, you know, I've been on the creative side of uh, nearly every type of digital media, right? Mm -hmm. Illustration, photography, Photoshopping, animation, video, audio, and the production, the, the, the work that has to go into like human production, um, is both, is both time intensive and, and expertise intensive. Um, but it is also, there's also a human touch to it. You know, when I paid X money to get these magic avatars, I didn't get like revisions. I didn't get a chance to say like, Hey, can you X, Y, or Z? It just, it spat it out. I didn't even know the prompts it was going to give me until after it gave them to me. Um, and so I, I think there's a certain operations level, right? Someone has to man this, these, these yeah. bots right now. And I think if we get to a point where no one has to man a bot, I think that's just a, a, a big achievement for our species. I, I think like if, if we get to the point where, where one of these things actually can put someone out of business, then I don't think we are ev I don't even think that will be a problem. I think that that doing getting to that point will have have will not diminish the work of of human created things, and if anything, will probably get people more interested into these creative endeavors. Uh, disclaimer: I mean that that's something that that I have lived and continue to live in the world of magic. You know, we as a matter of fact, as we are doing shorts on Scam Nation, we're starting to realize. Uh, oh wait, we have to. Uh, at least uh, uh, give a, give a thought to whether or not this is straight up exposure or whether or not it's celebrating the detail of a gambling tool that that kind of thing. Mm. Um, in in general, to me, uh, there are some people who artistically create a blank piece of canvas, a blank piece of paper. I'm not one of those. I very much want a half formed lump of clay that I can look at and think, what's wrong with this? Why do I hate it already? Mm. And then just remove everything I hate and I'm left with something that, that I love. Yeah. So I suspect that, that regardless of the tool, as long as there's, <laughs> as long as there's still something to find that you can hate, we're, uh, humans will still have a yeah. very important part of, of artistic ex expression. Yeah. And I, uh, I, I, uh, that I don't know. I don't. I don't want to be crapping on someone's vantage point because I feel like all of us probably have a very similar view on this. But I feel like uh, the idea that something like this will take away jobs from artists um, just doesn't make any sense to me. Well, I, I mean, don't. I, I like. It's not like there's so much work out there already for yeah. freelance illustrators, artists, what have you, that this will suddenly. It's, take all of the air out of the room like it's already kind of low traffic if it if it, if it, if it was more profitable to be an illustrator or an artist probably more people would have would have been doing it like we kind of have an idea that it doesn't always make a ton of money and i don't think that this will put anybody out of job out of a job yeah i i i would tend to agree i i think that um this is going to open up avenues for people to understand where art can fit into their work a little bit more. I know that for Dolly, uh, it, you know, I, I wrote a bunch of stuff for my sub stack when I was on vacation and then I, I ran it and it was like, Oh, okay, well, here's an easy way for me to add art elements to these things where I can have four or five different illustrations that I can spend about an hour doing. They'll look really good. Mm. Uh, they will fit exactly with my theme and I can get, I can be in the world where I'm looking for what feels right to go along with it, which is often really, really hard. And it's an intimidating thing when you're, when you're contracting with a freelance artist yeah. to say like, Oh, here's my idea. Here's, I don't know, negotiating the money to it. It's like, these are a lot of pain points that I think will g give people more of a relationship of where art should, should fit into their stuff. And, and at that point, you can then know a little bit better, oh, okay, this is what we... Uh... I want something like this. Yes. I, like, I, I, there's a bunch of people who I feel like would not consider themselves to have like discerning taste. Yeah. Where I think a tool like this 
gives people the opportunity to find more of that, to find the styles that they like, to find uh, uh, the ideas, the creative visuals that 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 people might be interested. And yeah, that's it's based off of uh, pro- likely off of other people's work, but so is everything. Yeah, so is everything. I mean, I'm I'm not a black box. I've watched a lot of videos, and that influences how I make videos. You know. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, there's a, uh, service that will, uh, whether it's for your, uh, you know, your bubble feed or your, uh, 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 whatever, whatever, or your LinkedIn or whatever, huh? it'll evaluate your, the quality of your, of your promo photo. And, uh, in order to accrue credits, you have to judge like on three simple, uh, Mm -hmm. Uh, axes like you know friendliness happiness whatever um Mm -hmm. uh and so people are judging uh and then and then in exchange you get to have one of yours rated by other people Mm. uh this sort of skips out the middleman on that where where it just becomes like uh uh just 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 have a robot pretty much figure in general what works best sure yeah, and 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 I feel like that has partly been why something like Midjourney has been relatively successful because you can tell that it does a lot of like shaping and guiding when you won't tell it stuff. Yeah, you know, if you just tell it a space dinosaur, um, I feel like Midjourney is some more likely to give you something that the average person would be interested in versus Dolly, which would be maybe a little more clinical because it is very literal it doesn't try to it feels like like the the difference between like flat headphones and like bass boosted headphones if that makes sense so uh tell me about uh mid journey and and what it's looking for Uh-oh. uh oh uh i i don't know a lot about mid journey his cake it's, is baked oh his cake is baked that's yeah. fantastic we're gonna get brian's live reaction to his magic avatars in just a moment okay uh it says eight minutes left 10 of 100 avatars are ready oh yeah so you can probably see the first ones uh okay okay oh my god i oh. i don't know how i feel about this do we um, like it do we do uh, not like uh, it? I, I, I i i i literally don't know and it, <laughs> sounds, it sounds like this is a loaded term um uh sometimes know. they're not great like i don't I'll, no no i think he i think it's on the other side i i you know i'm only looking over his shoulder but these look hunky <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> There yeah, you go. I, I I just emailed uh, pack Sounds number funny. one. Brian Brian Beefwood. <laughs> these, these are these are accurate. Um, this is definitely the face that you make when you're posing. Yeah, I think that's something I notice is I gave it. I feel like I gave it a lot of straight on photos, and I yeah. don't think I gave it photos with me smiling. So a lot of mine are me. Jesus, looking right at the camera. Um, a lot of my space ones end up looking kind of like this with very like flowy priest like space space Jesus sort of yeah. looks. Um uh yeah. All right, I'm sending you one titled Hero. Okay. Uh not gonna lie. Wouldn't wouldn't mind being in a comic book looking like this. Yeah. Um uh yes. <laughs> uh yep. Yeah, these are uh these are the superhero ones. Interesting, because I also feel like superhero, yours are not like Marvel superheroes either. Mine did not come out as like superheroes. No, yours, this looks like Brian is either the lead in a space movie or a soccer player <laughs> or both. Jeez Louise. He very much looks like, this, like he this should is, be playing. This is going to damage all of our self uh, reputations. I'll say that it definitely. I looked through mine. I looked at a hundred photos or a hundred images that a computer made of me, and thought, "Is that what I look like? Do like, I look like that?" In in a good way or a bad way? Not in a great way. Oh, <laughs> did it make you go goblin mode? <laughs> <laughs> it made me go fluoride stare. I sent you guys that that oh, video yeah, over yeah. the weekend. But oh yeah, yeah yeah yeah. What was the joke on that? Because I I I, I don't think I got it. Well, I think it's just it's just the idea that a lot of the eyes are kind of. I uh, sent a picture bad. of the fluoride yeah. stare as well. So if you didn't, I I don't know how much more I can. It's it's a type. It's a very specific type of illustration where, um, it, the people are looking just directly at the camera. Yeah, and I mean, kind how, of like 
Okay, okay. Look, uh, 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 these pictures, great, yeah. fine. How how soon can Apple sell me uh, glasses that cause other people to look as awesome as I do in these? Uh, uh, well, you, you want to you want to just completely destroy your objective reality. <laughs> Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> that's that's sad. That's yeah. goblin mode. No. Justin, that's goblin mode. Oh no. What? <laughs> what? I mean, these look cool, but I don't want my world to look like this. Yeah, I I, I want other. Uh, what was it? Um, uh, <laughs> the uh, 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 Christopher Hitchens said, "I don't drink to make myself more interesting. I drink to make you more interesting." Nah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Like like I I'd be so down for that. Yeah, yeah. What, what, what do you got? Show show show. Well, oh, no, this is that. another thing that has nothing to do with it. My my wife got a bird buddy. <laughs> So there's just birds that land on our bird feeder and it immediately takes a high resolution photo of it and uses machine learning to find out what kind of bird it is. Wow. But there's a northern cardinal who just has been munching and he makes very <laughs> funny faces. They they even kept the mullet in one of these. And it oh, yeah. looks it looks pretty good. One of mine, one of my space ones, let me see if I can pull it up here. One of my, oh, the cyborg one, one the, in the cyborg category, it just didn't put me in it. It just made a robot. <laughs> That does not have me in I would, it. I would demand a refund. No, one of them actually had uh, Ashley in a space jumper. Uh, and and uh, uh, the last thing you saw as the frame was cutting off her face was a mustache. <laughs> uh, uh, I found that the anime ones looked really nice. Um, but I, I honestly only felt like these two out of the ten um, were accurate of me. I feel like Jesus Christ. the anime ones yeah. made me look a little... Um, more Asian than I feel like I accurately. Am. I feel like you triggered the David Beckham, oh. uh, the David Beckham oh, model. Got it. Got it. You, you have a lot of a got lot of close a enough. lot of Beckham. Yeah, very, you're very beckoning at the moment. Be I, be 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 beckoning be Beckham. If you text him to me, I got to do a bunch of stuff to get him on the screen. Uh, yeah, no, sorry, sorry I, I'm I'm trying to send him to to your email. Yeah, but, uh, you got to do it. Okay. Uh, um. But yeah, I felt like the anime ones ended up looking very stylized and kind of nice, but yeah. then they made me look more Asian than I feel like was accurate. Mm. Um, some of the space a common ones, problem. Oh Jesus, Bryce! I had the <laughs> I had the space hair. That's amazing. I got, I got some space hair. Going you on. you I think got the Chalamet. I I very much got a, a you got, you got for sure. Yeah, you got the Chalamet. I got Oscar Isaac. I know oh, yeah. I know for sure that there there were a few of mine where they're like, okay, well, which I think is very interesting because it's like, okay, well. These are not, these are supposed to be flattering, right? Yeah. Uh, I did, uh, there was an interesting discourse uh, between Veronica Belmont and my wife, who both realized that for the female ones, they do a lot of aging down. Oh, that it's like you look like you're 16, 17, yeah. Like, yeah. like no matter what. But if you do, there's an other category. Uh, oh, yeah. And, and that, Ashley at least found like she got more photos or, or, or pictures that were like how she looks. That, the, the, one, the ones that the boys get. Mm. It was it was a little bit more like that where it's like it's cleaned up and you look cool, but yeah. you're not this super kawaii child. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's definitely a lot of face tuning and and cleaning up that goes on. Yeah, um, I think it's interesting. I think it's interesting. I don't think that this is going to put anyone out of business. I think if this got good enough where it could potentially put people out of business, I don't I I I I don't particularly think all the circumstances for that sort of world. I think uh, are uh, uh, Brian is now just openly He's sexting just... his wife with uh, <laughs> AI pictures of himself. <laughs> Maybe this is basically we shouldn't have given something to do just, on his phone. This is no. him just just laying the groundwork for later just uh, uh sending hunky yeah, hunky yeah. ai photos to his wife hey baby check out my <laughs> machine learning i'm I mean, gaining that's, that's not gaining. not me i no. mean yeah 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 uh so, so it, yeah what is your review how do you feel about how do you 100 percent uh I, I i'm gonna buy stock i'm gonna give up all my money and yep. and and do nothing but uh, I, i'm gonna paint walls with pictures of me yeah hey look it's alex albrecht <laughs> This actually does look like Alex a little bit. No, I think it looks more like Brian. Well, yeah, I mean it looks like it looks like Brian doing Alex. Yeah. I don't know. It, it even has that tuft off to the, my asymmetrical cuz I I have an asymmetrical beard. Mm -hmm. 
it's it's got the tuft on the one side. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, I feel like it, mine, I gave it a lot of different hairstyles because I've had different hairstyles over the years. And it did a pretty good job of trying to give a little bit of everything. Yeah. Right. A little bit of the part, a little bit of the long flowy. Um, uh, it's pretty cool. Um, if, if uh, listeners t- tell us what you think, we got uh, the email instructions in the show notes here. What do you feel uh, is going to happen with the creative lands- landscape with this? Yeah. You know, no, there's a lot of conversations between this and then text generation, code generation, but. I feel like once this stuff gets better, the people who actually have to do these things will appreciate them or they won't use them. Yeah. And, and, and it, will, it, it will naturally sink or swim. I, I, I just want everybody to look Jesus. this attractive all the time to me. Yeah. <laughs> to you. <laughs> yeah. Yes. I just want the world to look beautiful to me. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah. This is a very, a very uh, uh, attractive photo of, of a, of a, Brian, uh, a Brian like <laughs> creature. Hey, you know, we, we could say Brian, it's fine. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> I'd say Brian. Right. Um, cool. Any any other thoughts about 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 this topic? I think you know it doesn't, it doesn't have to be a long uh, thing, lens but. AI. Yeah, no, I, I think it's very interesting. I think that what they've done is is pretty good. Uh, I felt fine paying them five dollars to do it. Uh, so uh, uh, good on you, Lenza. Uh, hopefully, we don't find out that you are a front for the Chinese Communist Party. Ugh. Gosh, I hope not. Yeah, please. But I, I think Prisma is supposed to be okay. It's the, it's the it was the face app or the face, face, face app. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's, that's when they made you old, right? All right, look, I, yeah. I, I got like seventy five more of these to go through. I think we should wrap. Up. You're rushing us off. <laughs> yeah, no, Brian. <laughs> Brian needs some, some. Hey, come on, comfortable time. Okay. All right. Yeah. Well, thank okay. you everybody for joining us here on the After Things podcast. It's because of Patreon where uh, uh, you can support us that we do this show. Just for you, patreon.com slash weird things. Get early access to the After Things program. All of that stuff. Thank you for being supporters for all that great stuff. Uh, all righty. Everyone's, everyone's on their phone. How's it been? <laughs> yep, sorry. How's it yeah, been? Yeah, it's been it after. Yourself. It's been after. It's been after. <laughs> this one's Jesse Pinkman. <laughs> yeah, no, I see it. All right. Good stuff, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us here for Weird Things and After Things. We're going to be back. In uh, a few hours. Oh my goodness! There's a handsome. They really, my... they He's really made you young. Well, I, I fed them a bunch of younger pictures. <laughs> oh, okay. He didn't put his real age in the age category. Oh, look at that one. Yep, I'm here for it. I yeah. mean, knee deep in space poon. <laughs> <laughs> Want to show up at Finley's and be all like, "Make that happen!" Yeah, yeah. I bet you could, and I bet they'd be like, "Oh, I got, I got you." All right, everybody. Well, uh, we're gonna go offline. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. We'll be back in a little bit with Quirk this Killers. Has glasses growing out of your head. <laughs> <Bye-bye>. <laughs> <laughs>